All right, guys. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Welcome in. What's up, bro? Cut. Good morning. We are going to get started here in a second. I need to take a sip of coffee here first. Um, get my tablet up and running here. And we'll get going. Wow, that is so hot. What's up, cow farmer? Welcome in. Man, that is hot. It's almost perf perfect temperature, but not yet. All right, so before we start, I'm gonna do a little, little check here. Let's see if we're even on the page. Am I on the page? There you have it, guys. <laughs> there you have it. I think Twitch has shadow banned me. Oh, never mind. There I am right there. All right. 8 p.m. here, by the way. Good morning, good afternoon, guys. Wherever you're at in the world. A little bit late starting the stream, but however, I'm a lot earlier than most streamers. Most streamers will sit in the... Uh, just talking for 30 minutes before they even start. Me, I do like to get things started here. So it's 10 minutes in, let's get started. Um, we're gonna continue cracking away at some contracts and then we might actually get over to scouting um, by the lake. So yeah, good morning Cyrax, good afternoon, wherever you guys are at. Let's get going here, let me grab my controller. I'm gonna take another sip of this hot, really hot coffee. <laughs> Mm. Man, the day I have to give up coffee is going to be a sad day in the, the province household. All right. Ooh, you know what? Oh, I need to do something. I need to do something. Where's that? How do I clean these? There's another... Other options. More? Clean up all. I think, I think my buddy updated his map, so I need to clean these up. Okay, that's good. Let me just check real quick. I need to make sure. There's a couple things that, that were missing on this update. I'm also going to say tell you guys some, some sad news here. Yeah, he did update it. That's great. Okay, sweet. Yep, good to go. I think so. Yep. All is well in the world. Okay, so very sad news is that good friend and uh good friend of the channel actually used to help me out a lot with uh with reviewing trucks early in my early in my journey on this this channel. His name is Max Power. It's not his actual real name, but it's his YouTube name. So alias Max Power. Um, if you guys ever follow him, his his editing of videos are just phenomenal. Um, his experience in SnowRunner is superb. And he is actually selling his rig that he plays on. Um, just because, yeah, he doesn't like the direction the game is going and stuff like that. And, you know, not being able to line up anyone to play with uh, co-op and stuff like that. So... It's actually really sad. So I, I kind of, I definitely feel for him. All right, sweet. Let's see what we got here. It's by the lake. I'm, I'll just accept it. I'll just accept that too. Accept that. The movie trailer. I probably do I have something down here for this. I have the Kenworthy. Yeah, I can do this right now. Yeah, why not? I'll do this right now with the Kenworth. I think... Is the movie star? Please tell me it's not on their map. Okay, no, it's not. But it's not showing me where it's at. But I know where it's at. Alright, let's do this real quick. Crazy thing is... I think this movie star trailer only gets moved twice. 
if I'm not mistaken. No. Oh man, I could have smashed myself there. See if the slides tuck in whenever I do this. Probably doesn't. No, does it? No, it doesn't. Slides stay out. That's kind of weird. That would never happen. And even the awning is out. Oh man, that's a pretty big trailer though. Four slides. You don't normally see that. Uh, let's see here. It goes all the way up. Yeah, all the way up. Just punch it. Oh, oh man. Just slow down this morning. Wow, even the door is open for the refrigerator in the back. Are you kidding me? So yeah, I think we have two more contracts, and that is, that's essentially it. Ooh. Could you imagine if there's anyone in this this trailer? <laughs> They're probably bouncing around. <laughs> like, what is going on? Are we really stuck here? Hmm. That's not good. Uh, am I caught on something? I don't understand. Am I in that much of a rut? Oh, that is wild. I'm probably going to get stuck again as soon as that trailer goes down in that rut. Let's see. There it goes. Yep. Kind of. What's up, Dirt? Welcome in. That wasn't going to happen.
Yes, punch it. No, not punch it. Yeah, too much wheel spin. Too much. I should buy the 4520 for this. Honestly, you're probably right. I probably should. That'd be a pretty good idea. You know, we used the 4520 for, what was it? The 770G trailer for season 12 and legitimately it soloed it, that whole mission. I was I was hearing a lot of folks um, say on stream and, and uh, just tell me on stream they had to use two trucks. And also a lot of people on Reddit, a lot of people on Discord, they said how that mission was hard. And they had to use, uh, you know, two trucks, one to basically, um, to pull the other one out. And legitimately, I, I used the, the 4520 and it soloed that whole thing. So I was super happy with it in performance wise. Several missions to pick up low saddle trailers. Yeah, yeah. Use a Freightliner M9 and swap to the Dairy 4520 later. Oh, yeah, the, the M916A1. Yeah, yeah. That's actually another good option as well. It's another good option as well. Can we stay H gear? Let's see if I can just. Stay in H right now and just punch this all the way too. Come on. Keep the snow light. Keep it light. No, I'm slowing down. Wait, I'm getting some momentum. What's up, SD1? Welcome in as well. Good to see you, man. that baby let's go no the rock okay way too much wheel spin I am we usually actually I'm not I'm not super early I usually try to start streaming around 8 a.m. I, I try to turn it on at least and then I yeah I turn it on and I let some folks come into the chat before I start jumping in and talking and all that other stuff but yeah I am I'm trending a little bit earlier today for sure. Is a good choice for me? I don't know, Dirt. I don't know. I, to be honest, I, I'm I'm starting to come to the realization that even trucks that have like special coatings on rear axles. Look, now they fold in. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I'm starting to think. Here's a here's the thing. I think there's areas in Maine where you absolutely need a front axle driving, and sometimes like, well, you you've played like the 512 PF or the P512 PF, so it's kind of like that. But honestly, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> For the cash, I'm gonna say no. Yeah, you caught me. Yeah, you caught me um at a pretty early part in the stream. What's up, Mo Daddy? Welcome in as well. Back connection, prototype, exploration units. So accept. I have to go get this because that's over here. What else is there to there's one more mission here. It's not that. It's not that. Is it bad connection? No, it's this right here. This is going to be the next, the next, uh, place. Okay. Um, yeah. Where's my, where's my scout? All right, cool. Let's go. Uh, I need to 
get across fast. I won't, I'll just go across there. It's fine. This thing is beat up. <laughs> Honestly, I'm probably going to use this on the next map. I thought about using the burlap to just scout the next map just because, well, it's over there already. Just hanging out. Time-wise, it would make sense. But then again, you guys know I'm not necessarily a fan of the burlap. That, yes, I missed that too. Well, I, I never, I never played Mudrunner, so yeah, I kind of wish it would repair stuff. I guess I, I kind of wish every time you went into the garage, even on hard mode, it repaired dents. It just, uh, it's a nice, it's a nice feeling actually looking at a truck and not like this banged up thing, <laughs> I guess. Especially after you repair it, or you so-called repair it. Alright, so... Out we go. And then let's go get this exploration unit. Get this over there. Yeah, they almost look like there's... It looks like this, this whole truck is plastic and they just took a torch to it. You know what I'm saying? It's, so it's just like, it's just like a molded piece of plastic, almost. So, do you guys remember what you were talking about? We were talking about the dead axle on trucks and stuff like that? And I said, I guarantee you, someone is going to say, I'm going to get a comment. <laughs> the funny thing is, I even said that. I even said, I guarantee you, I'm going to get a comment on uses of the dead axle. And I kid you not, literally that happened. <laughs> Someone's like, actually, you can use it for this. I was like, man. There's always someone. Oh, no, it's not. Always someone, man. And then, oh man. And then here's another comment I got. It was, uh, so on my F750 review, I kind of, uh, at the time I took all the scouts and I crunched their numbers and I averaged out basically all of their... The oh my goodness. <laughs> What's up, Slapper? Welcome in. So on my F750 review, I took all the averages of the scout vehicles for their damage capacities on every part of their... I guess every system. I guess, I don't know if system's the right word to use, but basically like your tires, your gearbox, your fuel tank, all that stuff. And I averaged all those out and I compared it to the F-750 and the F-750 was pretty much below the average of all the scouts, even the smaller ones, okay? Just to make a point that F-750 isn't the most durable truck on the road, okay? And to kind of hammer home that you pretty much need to use uh, its vast amount of repair points because you're going to take damage at some point, right? So I think it's pretty pretty safe to say. Uh, it's funny. There was a comment that said, "Well, if if you if you just if you just use low high all the time, you won't take damage." I thought to myself, I was like, "Yeah, he's he's right. <laughs> he's right." But I mean, to be honest, like. Who really just drives around all the time in low high? I thought to myself, I'm like, man, there's there's no way. There has to be in the burlap. You kind of have, yeah, in the burlap, you kind of have to at some point. The funny thing is, the burlap 
I think its angular velocity and low high is almost as good as high gear, actually. I think it is good. Let's look, actually. I think I talked about this before. I think it's close. I don't think it is, if I remember. Um, let's see. Got to load first. What's up, organ original? Welcome in. Ah, coffee is so good, man. SR is way more forgiving compared to MRST in terms of damage. In the old games, it was like one, two crashes and you're done. I like that. I actually, I actually like that. All right, check this out. All right, so let's go gearboxes. Uh, where's Burlac? Burlac stock. Okay, so here's low plus 0.9. And that kind of seems weird because there's no way. Look, H. H is almost as fast as five. <laughs> but the funny thing is, I really feel like you go faster in low plus than you do. We're at almost as fast. We're going to test this too. We'll take a look at that. Yeah, we'll take a look at that whenever. I don't think I'm going to... I don't I don't even really want to use the burlap. I'm kind of... Yeah. Finally catching me live instead of later on YouTube. Appreciate it, man. Thank you for stopping in. Good morning. Good morning, Trumpet. Welcome in as well. I should have made that left turn. Oh, whatever. All right, should I scout the next map with the burlap or should I just use a smaller scout? So old players might be more sensitive to damage. You're pro actually at SD. You're probably right. It probably was a player who played like S spin tires or mud runner where, you know, you crash and yeah, you're pretty much done to be honest. That's, that's realistic. That's realistic. But guys, here, here's a, you know, talking, speaking of having, having SD one here in the chat, I'm going to share, I'm going to share you guys an article that he sent me. Um, because we were talking about, you know, where the series is going in spin tires, right? And here's a good article to actually look at. Um, this is basically an interview with Pavel. It was the original creator of like spin tires, mud runner. I think he was on the project for snow runner for a little bit, but kind of and not really in a, a forward position, I guess you would say. I'm not really sure how to, he wasn't really in the front lines of it, but yeah. Like if you if you read it carefully and look at like his vision of what the trucks are and what they should be, there he kind of gives you a little bit of a tidbit, and I am all in line with that. What's up, Victor? Welcome in. And I do think like with the new game, and even parts of SnowRunner, I think it's starting to get away from that. Can I cut through here? I probably can actually. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to hit the road. Yeah. He was a consultant for SnowRunner for like initial development, I guess. That's, a, yeah, okay, that's that's better. It's better than the word I used. So yeah, he basically just consulted, but he didn't like, I wonder what they, I actually wonder. So the thing is, SD, to my knowledge, the way that article went, so basically the Havoc engine was used in Mudrunner and SnowRunner as well, like the same engine almost, right? Is that kind of what, what, what I'm kind of deriving from that, that article? Maybe I, maybe I just read that wrong, but it seemed like as if the engine, 
was the same. I did hear someone actually, there was a comment in my, in my chat. There was a comment actually on one of my videos that a person mentioned that Pavel on a live stream, like a recent live stream, I forget where it was. It was a YouTube live stream on someone that they had him in as a, as like I think a guest. And he, he mentioned that the Havoc engine is actually like maxed out. Like it's been, it's actually been maxed out and I'm, I'm, I'm not surprised. If, if it was used in, in Mudrunner, I mean, look how far they pushed it. Do you know what I'm saying? Actually, does this thing? Okay, it has, never mind, it has fuel. I can steal the fuel out of this. I'm good. Yes, the core engine is the same. In SR, they merged it with a swarm engine. Ah, that makes sense. So, it, <laughs> wow. So it is the same. That is wild, man. That is seriously insane. Seriously. Well, I guarantee I'll get to the top a lot faster than the, uh, <laughs> the Kenworth does. Uh, let's go this way. But that's kind of crazy, man, that literally they've been using the same engine to make these games for that long. Are you kidding me? I'm actually stuck. Okay. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. It was originally built for World War, World War Z. Oh, okay. I honestly wonder if they are going to try to advance the engine in future titles. I honestly think they have to. I think they have to. I mean, you're talking three generations of games, right? Pretty much on the same, on the same engine-ish. Mudrunner. Mudrunner, Snowrunner, Expeditions. Oh, this is going to slow down. I know it. Deep snow, blue snow. engine has to keep track of too many things at the same time you're yeah probably i mean to be honest i think the game in the the map the map that ran the smoothest okay on this engine as a as a dlc in season three is season 10 season 10 had no gimmicks literally isa roken came out and said like hey there, there's no there's no gimmicks like there's no we're not adding any mechanics. Like there's there's no mechanics basically. <laughs> like it's a straight it's a straightforward map, and yeah, it worked pretty good. I mean, there probably was some type of bugs here and there with with like I guess like missions and and icons and stuff like that 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 were that were present. But overall, yeah, I think. For me playing it personally, I can only speak about my personal experience. It felt it did feel a lot less buggy than other maps. To be honest, this one actually is pretty good too. I haven't noticed a ton on this one. Yo, PVS, welcome in. I 
they do that would take a lot of time. It's not easy to make a game engine, especially for a game like this where terrain is simulated. Yeah, that's true. So then what would they, I guess, like, what would be the other option? Would they have to, like, adopt an engine from from somewhere else, I guess, to, to kind of implement, maybe? It's also using the Swarm engine or based upon Pavel's code. I'm not sure. That's, I think SD1 would probably know that. I don't know if Spin Tires use the Swarm engine. I thought the Swarm engine was integrated for SnowRunner. Spin Tires was Havoc physics as far as I know. The build by Ovi and Pavel, yeah, okay. Truck is a beast, man. <laughs> okay, so first, take some of this exploration unit. Give me all that. Give me all that free fuel, baby. Get out of here. There we go. Nice. Now our crew can stay in touch. We can finally get back to filming. All right, I think I have one more mission. And it's this. Oh, this opened up something else, please. Deliver the movie trailer. Wide flatbed. This is probably on the other map. Yes, it is, I'm guessing. And then the, the airplane f part of the fuselage. I'm not gonna worry about this right now, actually. We'll do this later. Yeah, we'll do this later. I'm going to effectively do this here. The first trip. Yep. Okay, the first trip. Where's my sideboard semi? Right here. Okay, so cement, which is there. Metal rolls, which is there. The maintenance trailer. I don't know where the maintenance trailer is at, but I hope it's not this one. Oh, gosh. hope it's not. But whatever, we'll just let's just crack at it. Let's go. This way, down to the road, down to here, back up through here, craft, and then back to the upper lift. You watched the Spin Tires history video yesterday? It is interesting, man. I I remember, man, that was a that was a really cool video to work on. So thank you, SD1, for allowing me to to narrate that for you. That is that kind of like opens your eyes, because like I don't know, we don't really understand a lot of like what goes goes on behind the scenes. I think But yeah, I think that was the Probably one of the coolest videos. Of course, the, the deepest parts here, huh? Yeah, I mean, the crazy thing is, is I think what is extraordinary about that is what you said there is it's it was a passion project. And it's, it's kind of like laid out there on that article that I linked that you sent me actually SD1. And uh, it, it's crazy what one man's passion can can do. Do you know what I'm saying? 
like just from his just from a passion project to to this we're talking four four games in a series right now that came from it flickering Wow, just enough. Yeah, the demo in 2008, yeah. Yeah. Seriously. He probably was working on that forever. Do you know what I'm saying? By himself? I mean, to be honest, like... Another another passion project that I've, I'm kind of I'm gonna I'm gonna be playing a lot actually we might actually cover a lot of content on it actually is gonna be Manor Lords and I believe it's made by one person so it's been in like pre alpha <laughs> it's been in like pre alpha and beta um I can't even tell you for how long I mean I'm still seeing videos like of 2022 when when they've the alpha came out. And people could like play it and give feedback and stuff like that. So those type of projects probably take insane amounts of time. I couldn't even imagine. What's up TP, welcome in. So, but just from watching some of the, some of the gameplay that some of these uh, content creators made from just the, that little demo was just insane. At least there's no communication overhead to one person projects. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's it's legitimately just hey, I'm making this. I think if I was doing a single project like that, I would have I would have somebody else to kind of give me like a third person third person perspective or just like other perspectives on things. But I'm sure he kinda already has that. You know it's based upon a Raid Shadow Legends? Oh gosh. What's up, Redneck? That's what a lot of uh, streamers play as like sponsored content, Raid Shadow Legends or whatever. I see that all the time. You believe since then? Got some traction. The developer got some help for some smaller tasks. I think he would have to. I mean, dirt. If you, I don't know if you've you've seen like the the demo and like just any any type of coverage on it. It is so like I, I I'm I'm all about like city builders. To be honest, I like those games actually. Like Age of Empires. Um, I haven't played Total War, like Shogun or any of those games. Those are really cool as well. Um, heard a lot of good things, but I've played like Stronghold, like Stronghold Three and stuff like that and. From, from what Stronghold is with like economic based and to like a military based stuff from that perspective looking at it it's it's far advanced it is it's really crazy there's another game called Beam NG which was released in 2013 as an early access and then to this day it's still early access but the devs completely overhauled the game without charging anything yeah I've been hearing things about Beam NG actually People were wondering if I should play BeamNG. Who invented the logging crane? That's funny. No, I didn't want to start that engine. Yeah, the logging crane can be uh, kind of jank. Ever play Satisfactory? No, I haven't, but I've watched one of the streamers I watch that plays uh, World of Warships. He'll sometimes play uh, Satisfactory. With proper terrain deformation would be sweet. I haven't really looked at Beam NG to, to give you. Honestly, but I'm, I'm going to take your word for it.
First time you see me drive this truck since Wisconsin? Dude, then you haven't been around. <laughs> this truck co comes out. Guys, how much does this truck come out? Anybody in the chat? <laughs> how much do I drive the CT681? <laughs> All the time. <laughs> exactly. Pretty much every season. This and the Step 310 Echo make an appearance pretty much every season. Where is this thing? I want to know where this, this trailer is. It actually doesn't matter right now because... I need to siphon out of it, so it doesn't necessarily matter too much. Or I could take this route here, which actually could be pretty cool. I don't really care. I'm not, I'm not necessarily caring about taking cool routes right now. I just want to get this thing done. That's why the normal mode was all about taking the cool routes and showing them. BMMG is like soft body physics simulation. It's almost like crash testing. Ah, I see. Best truck in the, in the game is the one that gives you the most fun. Uh, I like that. I like that outlook. To uh, toilet. I like that outlook. Yeah, I like that outlook. I think a lot of folks, yeah. Sometimes the favorite truck is, is directly related to how good it is. Sometimes it's directly related to just the truck looks and maybe it's not the best or I don't know. But yeah, the fun, the fun aspect is definitely, is definitely a huge factor. Overall stats in SnowRunner would be fun. Things like fuel use, damage taken. Tires pop. That'd be kind of cool. You know, it'd be cool is like to see like in hard mode, like there'd be kind of like a statistic against like a like an average statistic of uh, you know like fuel used like across the player base, um, time like the time it took you to finish the region, right, compared to other people. Um, yeah, so you kind of see you would you get in a ballpark area of, of how efficient you've been. Um, maybe look at trucks used, which I, I mean I, I could probably already tell you for hard mode what a lot of trucks people are probably using to be honest. So <laughs> we kind of already know that that answer, sadly. Jokes aside, in my hard mode, medium log pace star 5070 is becoming my favorite truck. Ooh, that's brave, man. That's brave. I like it. MR shows time taken, fuel usage after completing map. I like that. They should have kept that. I just think those those little those little tidbits are like really cool information that they should have added. You know, it's crazy. Look at the fuel consumption on this truck. It's very similar to the, the Voin. This is very similar to the Voin engine. Which is re relatively efficient as, we, as we've seen, right? But I haven't hit any type of like heavy snow yet. I think distance traveled is already there, to be honest. Distance traveled is there. Like that's, here's the distance traveled here, right? But I don't know what distance this is. Do you see what I'm saying? I don't know. This is not miles. This can't be miles. I don't know. Is that, is that meters? Is that feet? Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. It'd be, a, I think it's a cool, that's a cool idea. Just like, I don't know. I know, I know the game is not necessarily a competitive game. But uh, it's a good way to kind of like measure how you're doing in a hard mode setting against other people. I think it's a cool thing. Yeah, these tires. I mean, this uh, 
this engine is actually pretty pretty efficient. You can just tell. Yeah, I have no clue what the units are. Yeah, like posting that. Or just like I wish it it just gave you like a database. Like it kept it kept everyone's times, everyone's like the hourage in their trucks they used during that time. That would just be really cool things to see, in my opinion. Like I I would see what people are using what trucks on what region. I would see uh, I mean, that wouldn't be a, really a, a big surprise to me, to be honest. I already kind of know. Um, does it need any unit, in your opinion? You avoid co conversion? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah, mods would make it irrelevant, yeah. I think it would... I th what I would say this... I would say it should only track... Ooh... That's another thing. SD1 makes a good a good point though. Is yeah, mods would make it irrelevant. So then it would have to be. Yeah, I don't know. Then I don't know how you could even track it. It would have to be some type of way to verify your files. As like a legitimate playthrough. Yeah, there. Yeah, that's, there you go. A flag. Mods use yes or no. Well, that's the thing. Well, people. People could say no and still use mods. Do you see what I'm saying? In that way. It, it would have to be something where the game just checks. Like if there's a mod. If, if there's a mod installed. Or if there's a mod played. You'll make a mod turn off the modific mod verification. <laughs> What's, that? What's up, Dave? You feel like using mods is like cheating? Um, I don't want to comment because I guarantee if I make a comment on this, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a lot of a lot of flack. In a way, in a way, I'm gonna kind of agree in some in some aspect. You think in console it blocks your achievements when mods are used? I guess. Wow, I didn't know that. You get the game sets a flag. I'm a so you're a software dev. I could code that, code that flag. Nice. Yeah, I cannot speed up any faster. Oh, I can. <laughs> a little bit. I guess not much. Yeah, cheating is. I think it's subjective. Yeah, I think it's. I don't know. Yeah, let's just leave it at that. Lower lift, maintenance trailer. Where's the maintenance trailer? Please tell me. Are you serious? It's this trailer here? It's this one here? Wait. Give me my Pacific real quick. It is. It is. Hey, what's better? High fuel consumption, big tank or small tank with low fuel consumption? Um, I don't know, honestly. I think one, honestly, TP, one mitigates the other. To be honest, so it's like, yeah, I don't know. That's a good question, but yeah, one mitigates the other essentially. Yeah, let's go. I'll take it. I'll take it with this truck. Why not, man? You know what I'm saying? Or I could take it with the Tega, actually. That's even a better option. 
Yeah, it's even a better option because then I can siphon some fuel in some areas. Take it with this fuel truck. Maybe I can get a little bit of siphon out of it. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to say... How do I say this? You didn't pay for the game? Yeah, that's true. I do believe there is a pay to win in this game. There, There is a... Or a pay to... A pay to uh, make things easier. It, it's, it's very much apparent. I think people that deny that are not necessarily looking at open eyes with, at things. It's just my my humble opinion. Good morning, Scorpy. What's up? It's going well, man. How are you doing? Good to see you, by the way. Do you have any tips for starting a more? Yes, Cal Farmer, I do. Here's here's exactly what you should do. If you're here, Cal Farmer, I'm going to tell you what you should do ASAP. From your garage, the first thing you want to do, and you can go, this is another thing I would probably go check, is uh, my hard mode playthrough of this map okay it was done in 75 hours which is honestly pretty good for hard mode i think in my opinion um i can't compare that to anyone else but i don't know what anyone else's average is on that if it's tracked but what i would do is you need these warehouses you do not want to go up here and craft steel anything you don't want to go up here the least amount of time to go up to this little steel mill you just do not want to do that you want to come out of your garage you want to go either go through this area here down in this ice up to this task up here it's called it's called warehouse troubles you want to get this trailer you want to haul it back here this is going to be very deep area so you need a truck that can traverse super conditions okay drive drive it back down here on this ice here on the edge jump up on the on this uh this road again back down onto this ice over here across this ice don't fall through across this ice up through here and to this area this will open up these warehouses okay i think one is already open the other one you open up you need these because th this gives you like 10 metal beams and with those metal beams you can craft this bridge you can craft this bridge and this bridge and that is crucial after that you're good to go start the map play it out um, another thing is I wouldn't, I wouldn't lean on taking material from here and making metal beams. That's just my opinion. You can do it if you find it faster. I don't. However, I literally went to Cosmo and I pulled all my metal beams, beams from Cosmo. There you go. That's my opinion. You would say big tank is better. You can often reduce fuel consumption, but you can't do anything about a small tank. That is true. That is a very good, um, very good point, actually. You can't really. There we go. Right, let's go. But yes, sir, you can you can just go into my YouTube channel, go down to my Twitch streams, open up the whole playlist, go to like episode one or one or two, and I, I literally lay out you can just follow that whole playthrough. It is literally a zero to one hundred. So I would uh that's the first that, that literally is the first time I've ever made like a zero to one hundred episode. So it's laid out pretty well. And then you can just take parts of whatever you think you want to do there and make it your own. You don't have to follow it like a cookie cutter. You can just uh, take it for what you need and then just leave the rest or whatever. Yeah, we have to appreciate Naked Dave for that. We have to. Uh... Oh, it's not. Don't worry, Trumpet. It's not going to be a nightmare. Honestly, man, I think I think uh, you'll get through it. I, I really do. You need metal beams for the tunnel also. That's right. Oh, that's right. Yes, yes, dirt. You need metal beams for the tunnel. Yeah, Dave's work on the 3D maps have been amazing. Mm -hmm. 
used those on the maps in the to get the to get the Tatcher Force. That's the mission everyone's talking about right now is the Tatcher Force. Ooh, can I just go up through there? I wonder if I can just blaze up through here and just walk up through. I might try it. Nah, maybe not. No, I'm not gonna do it. I think it's too too steep. Knowing me, I'll probably do something really stupid, and then uh, yeah. I would reference Route Runner, but I would also reference my 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 playthrough. Honestly, I think the playthrough is gonna give you. Yeah, honestly, I would just reference the playthrough. If anything, trumpet. The playthrough will literally walk. It's like a it'll like a step by step walkthrough. Basically, that's what I should have called it—a walkthrough. Yeah, you can take all the metal beams to the gateway, unlock the 605R. Yeah, I've seen that too. The more uses a total of 48 metal beams. Yeah, I think the the part for me that kind of gets a little bit I don't know if I want to use tedious as the term, but I would say kind of, I don't want to say boring either, it's just a lot of work is is shuttling the metal beams from Cosmodrome over to Cherno. Because you, you need a lot of metal beams for Cherno to open up things. Even with all the wreckages and stuff like that, you still need a lot. Alright, so I'm going to try to take as much fuel as I can from him. I can take, I think, 50 or 40 more. Let's see. Ooh, not good. All right, let's do this. Ooh, not good as well. <laughs> That's good enough. That's pretty much all I can take. Let me see if I can take a tiny bit more, actually. Will it accept this? This is under 10%, though. If it accepts this, I'm going to be... Yep. At least had the 53 gallons. Yeah. Okay. I tried. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> okay, I gotta back up. Hold on. Tried to cheat it too much. Too much. Okay, whatever. That's fine. I basically filled everything up, so. Where it has a warehouse for beams? So yes, it does. It has this warehouse here. It's right here. The warehouse for beams, I believe, is here. So yeah, but the thing is, you have blockages all along this right here and down, right? So you have all these blockages when you first come in. So my, the order of operations I took was I was going to clear these blockages basically as my first thing to get through here. That's why I brought metal beams in to this, to this mode or to this, to this map. And yeah, you can see it on the playthrough. Basically after I, after I did that, it was basically fine. And I took all the rest of the metal beams from here. And there's still, I still have a rock, what's it called, a rocket debris, but yeah, there's just a lot of blockages are like going along this way. And this is kind of like a crucial thing. So yeah, that's what I kind of did. The warehouse has a mission requirement to open to. Let me see. Hold on a second. Let's look at this. And it's been a long time since I've played it more. It has been a long time. Let's go Cherno Kamensk. Display. Yeah, it does. Solid rock and spring cleaning. Oh, they updated. It says unlimited. I like this now. So yeah, you see like right here <clears throat> when you come through. Metal beams. 
three. Oh no, metal rolls. Two. So you have two metal beams here. Two metal beams here. Two metal beams here. So that's when, when I walked into this gateway, I was like, okay, I'm going to fix this, fix this, so I can actually travel this road, right? So yeah. And I did still use like some of these rocket debris. The only one I didn't use was like this one and this one. I think I used this one as well. But yeah, and even this, like two metal beams. So I think I used my metal beams that I shuttled in. Here's one here as well. So yeah, it's just a different way to do it. Um, did it save time? I don't know. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. But it worked for me. Okay, let's see here. What else I got? That's it for that. That movie set trailer. I'm actually not going to worry about this. This might be the last thing I do. Guardian of the Lake. Not worry about that either. Actually, I probably need to do Guardian by the Lake, to be honest. Oh, two medium logs. And then metal rolls. Hmm. The Eastern Tower. Okay. <laughs> we could do something here. But first, let me let me get my Tega down off this mountain here. I might do exactly what I did. on the normal mode where we use the, the Freightliner 114 SD to haul two medium logs. More was life sucking instead of maps for you. Worse than Lake Coved. You don't think a Mondra was harder than Lake Coved? Yeah, it was. It was infamous for terrain, but it was also a very beautiful map. I agree. Absolutely agree. It was. It was very seclu secluded. You felt like you were. You were very secluded at times, and uh, I don't know. It was just beautiful. It was. I'm still enjoying your my upgrade randomizer playthrough, but it's difficult to find the episodes in correct order. So all you have to do, Destro. Let's go like this. This is this is very it's it's actually really easy. So all you have to do is go down to Twitch streams. Scroll down. So Scroll down, scroll down. This is a this was a while ago, so oh my, this is a really long time ago. It was like right before and after a more. There you go. So here's the here's the randomizer. It's because I was playing a more. I started playing a more, I think, during my randomizer. But yeah, here it is, right here. So if you just look at the just scroll down all the way. So like here's episode one on the uh, thumbnail, episode two, three, four, five. And this is just a playlist. This is if you just go to the the channel five, six, seven. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. All the way up. And then yeah, you'll see I played a little bit of hard mode here. I started hard mode now. I, I kinda went back and forth. Hard mode to randomizer, hard mode to randomizer. So yeah. And then I went into new season. And then I went back to the randomizer, I think, a little bit later. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I stopped. Yeah, I think I stopped. Okay. Yep, Twitch stream playlist. That's all you got to do. The episode order is also random. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that would be funny. Mondra Northern Lights are also... Yeah. No, it's not impossible. More is not impossible. I think people just hype it a little bit too. I think it's hyped a little bit too much, but um, I think it just 
it more or less anything it tests your patience and your ability to just think that you gotta think moves ahead it's going to test your ability probably your skill set actually probably more than any map to be quite honest especially like in, in, in AI parts of Erska River parts of parts of Cosmo I guess in some areas for sure um yeah but it's not it's not I think I think a lot of folks have hyped it so much to where it just become this like boogeyman type of type of zone it, it just it's a tough zone and to be honest but it's it's gonna be fine I mean if you the crazy thing is if you've been to um Tamir and you've gotten the trucks from Tamir you're pretty much good to go and then if you've gotten the trucks from you know season one season two season three season four um and then all with with that all the money that you've acquired up to then to purchase other trucks dlcs etc you're gonna be fine if you knew how to come around cola is one of the best cash distance regions wait what do you mean by that dirt cash distance Got the, how great the fleet star is now you can't stop driving it honestly man it kind of shows you the importance of or the i guess yeah how good a truck is or can be just with uh with, just with diff lock cash per distance traveled i think you're right okay let's let's do this Ah, oh, let's see here. I need first. First off, I'm going to go to the restroom. Then I'm going to bring my, I think my scout truck down and we're gonna have to do some unlocking of towers. I'm gonna have to probably do some logs and we'll do all that stuff. So I'll be right back.
All right, we're back. Okay, so here is where this region gets kind of, well, it's kind of very similar to, well, not region, but this map gets, it's kind of very similar to Mountain Ridge. There is towers that have requirements to them, right? Well, two of them do. This one and this one. So what I'm going to do is, I'm probably going to come through the gateway, probably do a little bit of scouting, maybe grab this tower. I'll probably pause for a cause and start churning out these missions to get these towers. That'll probably be my first thing I do. And then we'll just complete the rest of the scouting with uh scouting trailer scout. So that's kind of my move here. I don't like having missions lock locking towers like this. And I also don't like how they don't cover the whole map. Uh, it's just kind of like my little pet peeve, but it is what it is. So we'll just, uh, we'll just pivot, get it done. All right, let's go. Uh, let's see. Load star. Okay. So now I'm going to actually get back down the hill grab both my trailers, which they're both completely filled up. Scout and exploration trailer. I'll take those through the gateway. So I'm thinking about what truck to use to do the medium, the two medium log deliveries last time on normal mode. Um, I know we had a lot of fun. We did the Freightliner 114 SD that probably tested <laughs> my ability to keep it on its wheels. Probably the most. I'm almost thinking of using like the Paystar. Uh, 5070 and seeing if I can I can do it with the 5070 because it's I think it can use the medium log attachment but yeah I don't know I don't know maybe I'll use the 114 SD again just because it's a truck that's out I don't have to pay for it again all right zing appreciate that man lurk mode activated the reputation of more has comes not only from the difficult terrain also from the amount of missions so it drains the stamina yeah it kind of does um to be honest man how do i say this i feel i i know i know i'm gonna be you guys are gonna disagree with me but i feel as though some of these like how do i say this the finale maps are just too much they're just becoming too much like they're just packing them in with like crazy amount of missions I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe maybe it, it feels that way for me, but maybe they're just trying to keep people busy for longer periods of time because they know that, I guess, as a player base, we're we're getting faster at doing things, but also, I don't know. Uh. Should I do this? That wasn't good. Like, how do I say this? Like, North Carolina felt super long, man. I don't even know if I took as much time on North Carolina as I, as I have on, on, like, Glades. Glades felt really long, too. And the crazy thing is Glades wasn't even that, wasn't even a hard map, and it just felt very long. Maybe that just was the logging that kind of just carried it out. I just think like for the sake of, I just think maybe, I don't know, it's just too much busy work. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like there's a lot of, there's a lot of like mindless missions now, or maybe it's just because I've been playing this game too long, but I feel as though there's, there's a lot of like just busy work, especially on like season, season 12. And there's things that just that seem not like in like a sequential order or just seem like I'm just doing them just because they pop up. Okay, can I just grab the trailer? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> NC felt good to you.
I never played any truck driving off-road games like this, but definitely want to play one. What would what do I recommend? So you haven't played SnowRunner at all? Okay, so if you haven't played this game, I recommend getting it. I would recommend just buying the base game. I'd recommend just going into, yeah, going to Steam and buying the base game and then uh, play it. If you like it, um, then it has a lot of seasons or you can buy like the first year pass, which is like four seasons of, of content, uh, year two pass, year three, and then year four is coming as well pretty soon. Yeah, it's, it's on sale right now in Epic. It's free with Xbox. Wow. But I could say this, um, if you are a PC player, I think it's going to be the best on PC. You're a PC player? Yeah, I, I would just recommend getting it on Steam. Yep, I'll just get it on Steam. Or Epic Games. I, I recommend Steam, to be honest. But that's just me. Ah, uh, you know what? Wait a second. I need to go... Why do I recommend Steam? Um, I just... I like Steam better. I've lost my... I lost my whole account. Or not my whole account, my whole game save. Back in... Is it 2021 or... Early, yeah, 2021 on Epic. My whole whole file corrupted. So, yeah. And also, at some point, if he wants to buy the Navistar, he can actually buy the Navistar on Steam. Because they, they don't sell it on Epic. So if he buys it on Epic Games, and then at some point he figures out he wants to buy the Navistar DLC, he can't buy it on Epic Games. It's just not available at all, nor will it ever be. So... That's why, that's why Steam, I think. Yeah, the, the Navistars. I've, I've literally have taken so much time reaching out to people about, about that, that being sold. I think it's a big loss too. I mean, like, come on, man. Like you're, there's money right there. <laughs> Free money. All right, by the lake. All right, let's see here. I actually might. I'm just gonna. I'm probably just gonna set this, set this truck near this, uh, this junction where I go to the logging camp. And then we're probably going to Navistar versus PTS. That's actually, yeah, that's true. But I don't honestly, man, like, do most people play the PTS at all? That's the thing. That's the thing. I would say if you want to play early content, that, that's actually another, another good idea. All right, guys, here, here's what's going to happen. What do you guys think? Freightliner, 114SD for medium logs, or a different truck? Where's he at anyways? I need to get him down off this mountain, so. Should I do a poll? Let's see what we got. I know I did the 114SD on the nor on my normal mode playthrough, and a lot of people, we did a vote of, you know, if I was going to flip, if I wasn't going to flip. So we kind of saw that. So we could use that or we could use like, I don't know. Go the other way. You struggled enough. Get something OP. Ooh. Victor. I'm liking it. I don't even know. Can the can the Kodiak can it use medium logs? I think this is a medium log cradle. No, it's not. If 
it was three, I think it was three prongs. It's medium logs and it's, it's taller. The Azov Adam. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to do something. I don't even know if this can haul a trailer though. Did I leave that trailer up there? I did. Okay, I'll use this if I can hook up to the trailer. I really doubt I can. If not, I'll put it, I'll get a different truck out. I'm not even sure. Let me actually just check right now. I can just check right now. It does look too far back. It looks way too far back. Very unnatural looking. How about that? Wait. <laughs> yeah, it can. All right. <laughs> oh my. This is not going to be fun. All right, I have to go get this trailer. I should have brought this. I should have brought this down. Yo, you don't even know what stupid is. It's about to get all stupid up in here. <laughs> Turning is going to be fun. You know, it's going to be fun as well. Dipping down into like going over terrain where the tongue is going to grab my back end and lift me up. It's going to be tough. I almost, you know what I might do for this actually, I might get the jet tires out. Give me some more lateral, lateral stability. I think I'm going to do that when I get back to the garage. So what was the weight of the 5070s tires? I kind of like my theory. So the weight, the weights of the tires are 200 kilograms. They're just heavy. They're just heavy tires. Yeah, they're just heavy tires, basically. So, I don't know. My theory is that, you know, heavier tires somehow equate to allowing a truck to pull more weight. That's my only... I, th I think it would have to be something like that, because if you look at the, the heavy trucks that have super low power to weight, they're still able to haul massive loads, right? Because like, how do I say this? Their, their power to weight is so low, like it, it wouldn't make sense that they could they could pull that much upgrades, but I think it's something, it's something within the tires. The weight of the tires is attributing to some type of pulling power. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know. I don't want to claim I'm correct on it. I just it's my hunch, I guess. Like there's no how do I say this? There's no there's no reason a Paystar 5070 can pull an eight slot trailer up a 45 degree incline like that or a 45. I don't know what type of what the grade of that hill was, but it's it's pretty steep, right? There's no reason a Paystar 5070 with 150,000 torque should be able to pull eight slots of mint or yeah, eight slots of metal beams up that slope. Logically, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't seem like it should to me, to be honest, however it does. And that, that's kind of like the baffling thing about it is like, it, it's, it's just not, it doesn't feel right, <laughs> but I mean, I'll take it. Oh gosh, look at this thing. Oh my, maybe we won't use this. I can't even turn. Yeah, maybe... No, we're not. I'm getting a different truck out. I have to at least be able to turn. This is not even right. What's up, Jigsaw? Welcome in. Yeah, I'm going to get a new truck. We're not going to use this. I have to be able to turn.
you just can't stand this game anymore. Okay, so what, what do you think about expeditions? Is expeditions? What about expeditions? And what 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 uh what made you change your mind about this game? Actually, if you, if you don't mind me asking. I'm going to get a different truck out, Max. I'm not going to use I'm not going to use this truck. As much as I probably I know I think I could actually make it work getting up the hill and to that location. Um yeah, I just We'll get something else out. The P12. The P12 will be actually cool. I could use the P12. Yeah, I just... But the thing is, like, here's the problem, Trumpet, is, like, that's my max degree I can... I can turn. And the, the way I'm going is, like, the, there's switchbacks there that are pretty sharp. So I have to be able to like turn my truck, my trailer, and that's the only thing that's going to kind of really hold me back. That's sad though. It's funny though, but the, the 114 SD was able to turn really well. Could, I could just get that truck out and just go with it. I do have it close to the garage, kind of. Whatever, I'll just park this outside the garage and leave it for now. Oh, wait. Ah, I guess I'll just take it in, whatever. Alright. Parking spot there. Good to go. I do have I do have the P twelve. Um I was using it to haul heavy trailer heavy things, but I could just use it. Or I could use the one one four SD. We might just do this. I might just use this. Yeah, I might just use this. Uh, no, we're not going to go that way. That way is... Hmm. Yeah. I'm just going to drive up. Actually, no. Yeah, I'll just drive around. And go pick this up. I might put the jaddies on for this. Give me some more lateral stability. We'll try it again with the 114 SD. Maybe. You've been saying it's unsatisfying the whole th year three cycle. It's just brain dead easy and unchallenging. And season 12 finally wore me down. Wait, but didn't you say season 12 had some difficulty to it? You know, Issa Roken said that the year four pass is going to have more difficult maps. That's what he, he said so far on, on Discord about year four. But I can understand what you mean, though. But also then again, so what what trucks are you using? Like what trucks are you usually using as well? Oh. 
had like three hours of difficulty on the first map out of 30 overall. You didn't play Expeditions? What is difficulty in this game? Slow terrain, which requires you to use the very best trucks. Um, <laughs> that uh, that's that's funny. I don't know if I find difficulty being deep terrain, to be honest. For me personally, deep terrain doesn't doesn't mean difficulty to me. It just means uh, I think people equate that to being difficult. But you know, then again, they'll just use a truck that can just uh, hold the trigger to get through it. Yeah, Jigsaw, I actually quit. I quit Expeditions as well. It just wasn't my, my game. The only difficulty you found was dragging the cat trailer through the mud. Opening the bridge to the ferry. Yeah, I remember those. I definitely remember those. Deep terrain forcing you to find alternate routes. Sketchy ones. I think... I like the sketchy routes. I think challenging your balance is, is a much more effective way of implementing difficulty in the game. You play mostly grads, but that's the thing, Jigsaw. Like, if you're playing the Voron grad, you're talking about an S-tier truck. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying, my man? Like, the Voron grad is legitimately one of the better vehicles in the game. So, like, anything you throw it against... It's, it's going to just demolish. But you're overstacking and convoying all the time? Well, then, yeah, I guess. But, I mean, if you if you played, like, mid-tier mid -tier trucks... But the, here's the thing. Uh, okay, I'm not, I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to cut down your argument. Because here's the thing. You're playing you're playing a truck that you love, right? And, and, I, and I applaud you for that. Um, I, I can say this. I'm sick of them bringing out overpowered trucks because I just don't like playing overpowered trucks okay so like for me I'm stuck playing these older trucks that I've played so much time because it's either that or I play the new truck but I want to play the new truck but the new truck is just too easy to play because it makes the game too easy so I'm stuck playing the older trucks and then when I complain um, about the new trucks being good people say we'll just use something else but the thing is, when I use something else, it's too easy. So yeah, I do. I do understand that overstacking does make it does make it harder for sure. I do understand that. It can be done with worse trucks too. Yeah. Jet OMD threes. I'm gonna try to get some a little bit more of a, a lateral footprint here for this. But I think I might deliver the metal rolls first, to be honest. So who knows? Okay. Um, let's just go take a look here. It's, it's uh... So it's gonna be this one. No. It's Guardian by the Lake. And Spirit... So I need four, four rolls. Okay, I'm gonna get four rolls here with uh this truck here and then i'll do logs yeah so we'll do rolls first and then i'll do logs uh, just get you down out of the mountains to back to getting metal rolls and then i'll get these metal rolls for both of these missions and then i'll do i'll start the logging just gets the job done like I said I already played the game last year for more challenging seasons dawn main still satisfying the play with OP vanilla trucks this is not a truck problem it's a region problem so what would make the game fun for you let me ask you that so like here's here's the thing is 
I know there's been a lot of people that have been saying they should create like another Amor, okay? But you gotta understand as a biz from a business perspective, they Amor is not received very well overall. Therefore it doesn't make a lot of money. So if something's not making a lot of money, it's telling the developer we have to do something different. Cause you know what I'm saying? While the hardcore players like that type of stuff, the more general, I would say, like, the hardcore players are the minority, right? The the people who who really enjoy this game that are the majority are the folks that like Year 3. And the Year 3 pass has sold the best. So, I guess what they're going to do is they're going to continue in, in the way the Year 3 pass kind of went. They're, you're going to see a lot of great trucks come out. Isarokin did say it's going to be a little bit harder. I don't know how much harder. I would probably say it may be around like Maine to Wisconsin difficulty. Who knows? It could be it could be even worse. But then again, worse based upon what? <laughs> because we have such great trucks now that is it even going to be bad? Or is it going to be so so bad that we're going to be forced to just use the best trucks in the game just to progress. I hope it's not the latter of those two. I think this, man, and that's that's kind of why, like, for a more, like, I'm okay with playing, like, S tier, A tier trucks. We did that, right? Because it's it's it, it's kind of warranted. Like, there was no way I'm gonna bust out a CT681 and and uh, cruise through like the deepest parts of the game. It's, it's just true. Like that's that's just a, an objective fact. I mean, yeah, I use the CT six eighty one on like Cherno. That's on the playthrough. But it is because I knew I could. But in other spots, I had to use really good trucks, because I kind of was. I don't want to say I was forced to, but I was kind of more or less encouraged to. Because if I didn't, it was going to be me holding the gas trigger in Winch City for longer periods than I wanted to. So it's kind of like, I don't know, it's that balance between how much I want to struggle toward how much I want to actually feel as if I'm creating something that is locking me in, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, I probably spoke too much there on that. But yeah, I respect, I respect you for not playing the game, to be honest. I understand. I think, man, and the thing is, like, I, I respect the, uh, if someone doesn't like something and they genuinely say they don't like it, they don't like it, then uh, I don't think, I think a lot of people that give constructive criticism are met with, uh, I don't know, a little bit of, I, I don't want to say hate, because <laughs> that's just a, a heavy word. I think people just use that word for everything. I think they're met with a little bit more uh, disagreement than than when people just blatantly say they just, oh, I love it. Yeah, year three. Year three is definitely easier. Yeah, Amor is kind of an outlier. You're right. Yukon, Maine, and Dawn are, are, di are difficult in their own ways. You're right. I think that's... Maybe that's what they're aiming for. I don't know. Maybe that's what they're aiming for. I mean, based upon this right here, let's see. I still have this this little tidbit here. Based upon this, this essentially, this essentially is difficulty. How to say this? Difficulty is a scale on the bottom and then enjoyment is here. So enjoyment's here, difficulties here, X, Y. So as you can see, like a more was difficult out here, but it's still, it was dang near. I mean, it's over nine, right? So it's, it is the, it's kind of an, it's an outlier. Like you said, Yukon, Yukon and Maine, they're kind of here. I know a lot of people actually complain Yukon is, is terrible, but I actually enjoyed it. But as you can see, 
here's where here's where I think, and this is actually I think I think even even Issa Roken commented on this. I think he said this is, this kind of lines up with our marketing. But you can see this Scandinavia, British Columbia, Ontario, and I guarantee you North Carolina is going to sit up here too. Look at look at all these maps that sit pretty high up on this uh, this scale. I think what they're going to do is they're going to make in year four, I think because these maps here still have over seven. I think if I was looking at this, I would probably try to emulate something like this. So this is what I would probably expect. No, this is not my own rating. This is the, uh, this is what people rated a while back. There was a, a form posted to Reddit, posted to discord about rating your maps, like rating the maps and difficulty and fun rating. And this is literally what, what they came back with. I actually don't have the, uh, actually here it is. Give me a second. I'll pull the video up for you. I actually made a video on this. I'll pull the video up and it will show like the actual thing, but index index out of bounds created it. Let me see if I can find it. I think it's called the SnowRunner players speak. Here we go. SnowRunner players has spoken. Of course, I get. Give me a second. You quite like Tennessee, but I know I'm the minority. Yeah, I think you are, but it's okay. All right, so this, give me this for a second. Here we go. All right, I, I, this is just a freeze frame because I, I did this on, on, on stream actually. So you, you can see, so here's the diff, what people rated difficulty. Here's the enjoyment, right? People rated these maps very enjoyable. So here, here's like, here's like what I think Saber has learned is that their new maps, like people rated Scandinavia among the highest out of all the enjoyment. Okay. The difficulty is rated around four. I think this is pretty much directly related to people just using overpowered trucks, right? Because I think the most overpowered trucks in the game, DLC wise, were literally in nine, 10, 11, and 12. Okay. Um, Here's the thing. I don't, and I'm going to agree. I'm going to agree with naked Dave on this. I don't think the easy maps are, are always boring. And like, you can see, like I'm using, I'm using pretty much like mid to lower tier trucks. And I'm, I'm actually finding like Scandinavia to be actually difficult and in its own way, British Columbia, I found the same, same things too. So here's the thing is like, I think what they're going to do is they're going to try to emulate some of the the positive things about like maps in the year three pass, and then maybe implement a little bit of difficulty from like maps like this, like main, you see what I'm saying? So if they can achieve like a six difficulty overall, and then still have an enjoyment of like a seven or above, that's pretty successful to be honest. Cola. The crazy thing is I don't understand. I think if they would have, this is actually pretty good too. The pro even a more, People found it super difficult, but they also said it was enjoyable. But the thing is, I think if they would have took this poll for each map when it came out or when they finished, I guarantee you Cola would be different ranked in enjoyment and difficulty at the time. This would probably be a lot higher. And I think these would too. I think the enjoyment might've been lower here at the time of like the map coming out. But you got to understand like two years have passed and there's been so much information on these maps to be successful and also a lot of trucks to complete these in a pleasurable way, I guess, for the majority of the, of the snow runner community, right? You started this game three months ago. You played Michigan, Alaska team here, Maine so far. Nice, man. Welcome in sewer. I wouldn't be scared, man. I wouldn't be scared. I think if you can go through Cola, Yukon and Wisconsin, 
you're going to have the trucks, you're going to have the skill. And also like, if you need help, um, I have multiple videos, um, to help you out as well. So complete playthroughs, map, uh, map guides, etc. But yeah, I don't know. That's just me. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, I need to fuel up. Let's go. Oh, you check my videos? That's how you found out from Twitch. Nice, man. So yeah, I have com I complete zero through 100 playthrough on a more um, that you can reference. Also, the map the map guide. I think from that, yeah, you'll just enjoy it. People remember positives and forget negatives as as more time passes. I think so. I mean, I still see the the Reddit post about people thinking that a more is like a nightmare. And how do I say this? It's it's almost like the fear of the unknown. Do you know what I'm saying? Like people make out a more to be like a boogeyman. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't think it's really a boogeyman. I think it it definitely is the most challenging. But yeah, I don't know. It's going to be challenging. Um, but it's definitely doable. Alright, so... First... I'm gonna go to the first tower with this cargo. Then I'm gonna head to the second tower. Whoa, what am I doing here? Oh no. Oh no. Are you serious? <laughs> that is what happens when you're careless. Oh. And you have no angles. Thank you, Mr. Azov. You know, it's crazy. The Azov is so heavy. I just pulled both that truck and trailer over. <laughs> Not even really caring. Yeah, I didn't have any angle. So, yeah, that happens. Oh, I feel like I flipped more on this map. You have no trucks on the map, let alone right next to it. Yeah, it's, that was such a perk to just have that truck right there. Wow, did you see that? I only had three inside and all of a sudden it put all four in. Did, did, did anybody see that? <laughs> What's going on here? I mean, I'll take it. Is this real life? Let's get out of here before something bad happens, you know? That is sus. Let's just let's just keep on moving here. Keep on keeping on, let's go. It grabs nearby cargo sometimes. That is that is the first time I've ever seen that. I like it though. Time is beautiful here. Love it. Love it. Let's 
Sweet. All right, let's go up to the first tower, which is there. Did I turn off the music? No, music's on. Yeah, music's been on. Yeah, music's been on. Uh, what were my thoughts in season 12? I think I took the longest on Pine Line. And then from, from Pine Line... How do I say this? After after I found, I feel like they try to essentially like usher you. Yeah, they try to usher you into a lot of these little areas where there's just a lot of thick mud, and that's kind of like where they try to usher you, usher you into. There is a lot of cool like little areas that you can tip yourself over, like going up into some of those areas. Wait, what am I doing here? Is, am I, is this really the, the path up? It is. Oh, I've yeah, that's right. I remember doing this. Okay. Yeah, I remember doing this. This is going to be tough with that trailer again. <laughs> Once again. But I don't... I didn't find it to be a slog. I mean, well, hold on. Pine Line Bay was a slog. I'm going to be real. I think I spent the most time. It was like 15 hours on that map, just clearing everything that I could before I moved on. Um, I just, I think I got to the point where I, I didn't feel like anything. There was a couple things that just didn't make sense to me on it, to be honest. Like some of the missions, this is what drives me nuts, man, is this crap here. I don't know if I'm be able to get over this, pull this trailer over this, to be honest. Maybe I can. We'll see. Let's go, baby. No, I can't. The reason I'm not tipping over is with my. <laughs> Literally, is because of my. Uh... Do I have any any winch points here? I don't. go this is the worst I gotta I might go back and watch my stream did I really come up this route with with those logs it's it's kind of uh it's crazy if I did that I wonder if I did. I don't know if I did or not. I really think I didn't. <laughs> I might go back and watch that stream before we start. <laughs> I don't think so. I think I did climb it this, this way. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I didn't. I think you might be right. I think I might have went the other way. 
I just don't see me climbing up this face right here with a trailer attached like another logging trailer I'm gonna have to look at that that stream I'm gonna do that because I, I remember that was that was kind of a crazy crazy thing especially with the 114 SD well in my opinion it was from my perspective Had the blue crane, it would have been much harder. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, we're gonna look at this. I wanna look at the footage. I definitely don't think I, I did it this way. One sec, y'all. Okay. Let me put this back on. I, I, I just don't think I went that way. I think I might have went up this way. Hold on. Yeah, you know what? I remember. Yeah, I know. Yes, I did. That's true. I went this way. And it still was rough. There's no way I went I went the rock route. Not with a trailer. There's just it's just not a Especially not with that truck that I used or I'm gonna use. Well both. <laughs> really dude? Really? Get out of my way. What do I think of the multi-purpose add-on? Which way should I go? Roll through here. Sure, why not? The multi-purpose add-on. Um, I think it's okay. 
I don't know about the crane strength. I really haven't looked into it that much. I think I haven't really looked into it that much because... Like, with the whole crane strength thing on the multi-purpose, just because I, uh, I don't know. I don't feel that it... The multi-purpose kind of, like, breaks, or it's, it's like, so good that it's, like, the, uh, like, the meta to be used for, for trucks that have it. Do you know what I'm saying? That's... I think, you know, for, like, a P12 or, like, a Dan, it's a good option, I think, you know, for the, the other truck as well, but... I, I think it's okay to use. I think it's just, it's all dependent. Okay, so the next mission is here. No. It's actually here. Spirit of the River. So, Spirit of the River. I believe I'm going to go... Out here, down, probably to this path here, cross the river, come down through here, some forming capacity, and then continue. Do I have long logs on this map? I think there's a long logging camp, or the camp for long, oh, the camp for long logs, I forget. I think it's on this map. It might be down here, I think. It, I don't know. It's here, though. And then I'm going to go deliver these here, these metal rolls. I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's like the multi-purpose, you're kind of giving up cargo space or the ability to haul more cargo spaces for repair and refueling. I think it's it, it's giving players options to do things of that sort. Um, so yeah, you know, I think I climbed up this hill <laughs> with the with the uh, the freight liner. I think I did climb up that hill. Wait, maybe I didn't. I want to say I did though. We're going to look at it. Second. Okay. Uh, I almost wonder if I should go get gas. I need to get gas somewhere. Could drive by the burlac, steal some gas from the burlac, which could be an option. I think this is a logging camp right here, actually. Wait, yeah. Wait, I think. Give me a second. I think there is a. I think there actually might be. I'm pretty sure there's. A scout trailer here. I think. It's a service scout trailer. Yikes. Oh, but I know where the scout fuel trailer is. It's over here to this factory. So I can probably just go over to the factory. Yeah, just go over to the factory real quick. Yeah, that's fine.
Yeah, I'm gonna make this right hand turn because I want to get some gas first. At least top off. Pretty sure this, this fuel tanker is like right in here. So yeah, I think this logging camp right there actually has long or medium logs or longs. So I might actually just take derive some cargo from there. There it is, I see it. There we go. Yeah, the one cargo slot thing is kind of, uh... The one cargo slot, sacrificing that cargo space... Is, uh... Yeah, I don't know. In a game that you have to move, like, a lot of cargo, it's, uh, yeah, it's challenge a challenging um, decision to make, you know? Plus, the multi-purpose add-on just makes you unstable. Let's be real. It's this huge add-on that's on top of your your truck, right? So I mean, I think a lot of trucks that have it can handle it pretty well, but I don't know. I think having having the crane for the Dan is pretty sweet. But then again, the Dan is a little bit front heavy already, so it's like you kind of need weight on your back axles for the Dan, in my opinion. So it kind of like takes away from that, or being able to have that capability, but having a crane for the Dan is... Oh, it's so nice, though. <laughs> You know what would really change the game, actually? I think in... I don't know if it would be a good way, but it would change... It would vastly change the way people play this game. Is if they stripped basically all the trucks of having small cranes. Like, if, if no trucks in this game could have small cranes at all. Period. That would vastly change... The way this game is played. I think a lot of people, it would, I don't know, like if, if small cranes never existed. Is there a faster way to get down here? I think there is. I think I just go to this road. Then go to the road and this winds like down and then I jump off the path, I'm pretty sure. I think if if there were no cranes, trucks trucks like Freightliner M916A1, trucks like the Navistar, trucks like um let's see the Dairy 4520. The mod small cranes cost five hundred thousand. Ooh. I just don't know. I don't know how, how the game would pan out. Oh man, could you imagine hard mode? The tower task is locked, I think. Yeah, I'm taking... I'm taking the... This is the tower task right here. Spirit of the River.
So I'm just delivering these, and I'm going to deliver both sets of logs to, I think it's the, I don't know if it's the eastern, and then the western. No worries, man, no worries. You had me scared there for a second, though. Legitimately, I thought I was, like, messing up. What's up, Burlac? Gosh, I hate that scout. <laughs> I'm a hater, man. <laughs> the Burlac. Oh, the Burlac. Yeah, I think there's a path that's pretty close after this road bends back that way. You're using the burlac right now in a moor? What's wrong with it? I just think it's overpowered and it shouldn't be in the game, to be honest. But that's just me. But no, actually, I don't think it shouldn't be in the game. I don't think it shouldn't be in the game. I just think they, the way they, they played with it on, uh, or updated it on PTS was just too much. No, it's not overpowered at pulling trailers, but yeah, it could still pull trailers. Oh, I can, I can just zip right up here. All right, cool. Yeah, this path. It sure has its warts, for sure. Yeah, it has its it has its little some issues here and there, but all right, cool. All right, cool. That's that's done. Now back to one one four SD. What's up, holes? Welcome in. I mean, it's not how to say it's the burlap's not really good, not really that ba well balanced. Okay, that's that's some of the bad things about it. Um. It's completely dependent on diff lock, mostly. Uh, let's see, what else? It's winch points and getting it back to its wheels when you tip over, uh, even though they updated them, are still pretty bad. Um, yeah. I think it having the ability to haul scout and big trailers was a mistake. I think that just made it Strong, way stronger than it should be. I mean, it's already super efficient. Um, yeah. When pulling anything, it's incredibly slow. Yeah, it pretty much is. Yeah. You're just dependent on diff lock the whole time. Essentially, the gameplay in in the burlap is is low plus diff lock, pretty much. That's like the standard. Its crane is weak as well. That's another good. That's another good point. Its crane is weak, but like that's the thing. Um, I don't think you should be delivering cargo with burlap. I think using the crane just is more added, uh, is more loss of stability. So kind of uh, making your truck a little bit insta unstable when you put a crane on. Well, that's kind of like with everything, right? How can having both trailer hitches can be OP? Because it can it can still pull trailers. Like it can still pull. I can still pull a trailer with it. Like a normal trailer. Even though it's slower, it's I can still pull them. To be honest, I don't think it should have a scout hitch. I think it should be able to do what the F750 can. And that's it. And that should be its downfall, is it it, it can't haul big trailers that well. 
I mean, either can the 750. The 750 can haul them a little bit better just because more engine power, more weight in general, but the 750 is not going to just muscle up four slots of cargo like crazy, right? You don't think it should have the crane in your opinion? I don't think so either. Because, what's up Nelloway, welcome in. It's just, um, when you bring a scout out that's that good, and obviously you guys know where it falls on a tier list, right? Because if you watch my tier list video, but I think pretty much most people are gonna have the burlap up, up around the top of the class when it comes to scouts. But essentially what the burlap does is it, yeah, anyone who uses scouts, period, it just takes away any any use or any like I'm, I'm i think i'm a little bit less inclined to use that truck i guess i would probably honestly i'd probably oh short and long okay that, never mind i can't go there i would probably use it in a more to be honest that probably the only place i would i would say i'm going to utilize it is a more other than that pretty much I've survived without the burlap for so long, and so I guess I don't know. I think, and and if you think about where the burlap was was implemented or where it was introduced, the year the year three pass maps are not are not hard. Guardian of the Lake. There we go. It's too niche to be top tier. Well, I think it's just, uh, it's people inherently love going to be, they inherently love the option to go through super conditions. Also having studded tires is, is also another great thing that it has, right? So you have some of the largest tires in the game. Um, you can go through super conditions. You can play the game essentially just lazily without your brain on when you use the burlap. Um, except for like tippy tippy areas, then uh, good luck, right? I don't know. You find the burlap boring? You don't use it often? Yeah, I just I don't know. It's still it's still a good scout, right? It's still a we all know that. Okay, let's let's go. Okay, am I? Can I get going? <laughs> Basically, yeah, you can't do that with the Tatrin. What, go through super conditions? You can't go through super conditions with the Tatrin, but... The burlap is outside, outshined by the Tatrin, I think, period. Just for sheer capabilities, I believe. I think, like, the, the argument for the burlap being better than the Tatrin is the burlap can traverse, like, super, super mud, right? Or, like, oh, well, I can just go through super mud and the Tatrin can, but it's like... <laughs> but like the thing is, um, who is going through super conditions in 2024? Like if you're playing a base game map or, you know, year one map, probably, but still those areas are not, they're not that common. And like that argument is like, you're basically saying like, okay, I can I can mindlessly just hit the gas trigger and go through this. But in the Tatrin, I can probably just pick my way around it and get through 30 seconds to a minute faster. You know what I'm saying? So it's, I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> if you like the burlap, use the burlap. Cat 745C is the best scout, don't at me. 
Um, this time, so last time I took this route here, I went, I think I went this way, across the bridge, and I went up, and then I went over, and then I went this way. This time, I'm actually just going to... Oh, maybe I don't want to go up this route. Maybe I do. Yikes. Maybe I'll try something different. I've went this route before on normal mode up here. I could go this way. Climb from the left side's easy. Wait, let's see. Hold on, let me see what I did. Let's see here. Let's see. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna look. Because I did this on normal mode on stream. So let's see what I did. Um, let's see. Main. Scandinavia. Was it episode two? Was it three? Crafting. Okay, it might be this. Let me see here. Let me see if I can find it real quick. We'll take a look at this. I want to see what route I took. If I did, wait. Okay, no, it's it's back a little bit. Here, I'll just go like this. One second, y'all. I'm gonna try to find this. Here we go. All right, here we go. Here we go. What route oh, did I take? Oh, that seems like a blast. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I did. I did take the, uh, I took the bridge. So there's the bridge. Okay, I need to slow, because uh, I'm bouncing. All right. Yeah. We'll go the other way. I've done this before. We've done this before. We're fine. We'll go the other way. Yeah, we'll go this way. We'll go here, down here, here, up. Oh, yeah. And then I think I actually went up through here. I think I did go up through here, but let's do it. Let's just go do it. But yeah, absolutely. If I was in, if I was in the moor, I would use the burlac. <clears throat> it, it's a, uh, it's, it's crazy how much you can scout with that vehicle on a tank of gas. It's, it's actually absolutely incredible to be quite, quite fair.
Alright, hopefully these jats give me some like added stability here because I'm going to need it. Especially climbing up that one part where I have to kind of like dog leg to my left and right or like jink jink jank there. Whoa! That was quick, man. That was quick. It is crazy how unstable your truck is with logs on. It is unreal. Or some trucks, I would say. I mean, I just hope I can get up there without tipping all this over. Oh man. It's gonna be very interesting. Is this my turn? Is this my turn? It is. All right. We're gonna go slow. <clears throat> Alright. Wow, dude. I'm already rocking like it's no one's business here. these ruts man these ruts kill me not a fan of these at all I'm gonna kind of like straddle in between here and there so I'm not like in the rut but I'm kind of like on the side okay, I guess I'll go in now go can you pull up the hill 145,000 torque <laughs> look at this thing he's struggling man very apparent hard mode cockpit view Alaska done nice man Go. 114 SD. Okay, I need to turn. I need to turn faster here. Because there we go. Nice. Okay, let's take this turn a little wide here. Yikes, man. No power. Um, uh, is this a breakable tree? No, it's not. Good. That's what I need. Nope. Go this way, and then this way.
Come on, baby. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Can you do it? Show me the power. Let's go. When would you use low minus? I would say low minus, the only thing it's good for is if low can't break your stall, um, the other option is just use, to use low minus. That's the only other option that is probably gonna break your stall. Um, it basically, it's just a second option. You, sh you should never be in low minus. Um, really more than just getting your wheels going. After that, you should immediately shift to, to low. There's no reason for you to stay in, in low minus forever. Um, maybe in like a mud puddle if you really need to like try to crawl out. But other than that, no. Oh my goodness, can I? I just gotta get to the next tree here. But there's been times I've had low minus like break my stall. And there's been times that low has broken my stall. Um, it just, it's all depends, I guess. No. Oh, good. Nice. And maybe downhill for an engine brake. That's a good one. Um, just throttling your wheels, I guess. Um, you know what, guys? We're going to do this. <laughs> We're going up through here. Should I go there first or there? Probably there. <gasps> oh, you're... This might be the, one of the stupidest things I've done. This might be one of the dumber things I've done, actually. Uh, okay, um... Maybe it is. Yo, you don't even know Let's what stupid see here. is! I'm trying to think what's my it's next course of action. Stupid yeah. up in here! Okay, if I can just... Oh, nice. I can just balance here? This is good. Okay, this is good. Let's go... Straight on. Straight on-ish. And then now, I go like this. Or now, I go like this. There we go. Truck is balanced. I just got to keep the get the trailer to move here. Oof. I have something under my wheels. Not good. There's still time to go back. We're never going back. Wait, I got an idea. Yep, I have an idea. Yep, I have an idea. Actually, no, it's here. It's this. No, it's this one. It's this right here. Yep, that's it. We're good. Trailer to here, pull. Let's go, flurate liner. Let's go, freight liner. No more complaining. Hmm. Let's try this. Will I get over it? 
Maybe. No. But life goes on. Am I stuck on something? What am I stuck on? Nope, not. Look how much fuel consumption this is. Let's go. Okay, no, just chill. Um, I got an idea. Okay, I see it. Am I stuck on? Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that view. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that view. Okay. Now let's try this. Fifty seventy would have went right up the hill. You're probably right. It probably would have. only issue is I don't have a way to, to balance myself I don't have a way to balance myself let's go back I'm gonna pull my, my nose back this way okay I need to like do something here I want to get myself basically moving back to my right. Let's go straight. Let's go straight. Let's go straight. It's funny because I probably can just go Probably can just go this way, to be honest. Let's try it. I'm actually gonna try this. This might work. It did. It worked. Now I just gotta get myself... All right, <laughs> there we go. We fumbled it a little bit. Give me some fin. Noggin. Okay, don't mess me up, trailer. Okay, cool. We're Craziness. 
We did we it! We did it! No! <laughs> ran, ran out of fuel doing it. Appreciate that, guys. Wow. <clears throat> that was, uh... That was risky. That was really, really risky. Worth it? Probably not. <laughs> was it fun? We had a good time. <laughs> That's that. I probably need to get back down like ASAP and get some gas, but uh, we'll wait on that actually. I'm going to take a quick break, go to the restroom, and then we're going to pull some long logs to the next point. What's up, Mr. Killy Wiggles? Welcome in. So I'll be back. Give me like two minutes and I'll be back, guys. Okay, we're back. Yes, the 114 SD is a is a hidden gem. It's uh I am so partial to it. <laughs> so partial. <laughs> um okay. Long logs. So I might Let's see what I you know what since we have the pay star for logging um yeah let's let's do this turn on my my little space heater I'm gonna chug the rest of this coffee because I've been babysitting it <clears throat> all right long logs 50 70 I would just get the game and for here I can actually I can kind of explain this give me a second uh, okay, give me a second. I'll pull up my steam. <clears throat> okay. Um, okay. So you have snow runner, right? Store snow runner. Um, so you can see this is my Steam time here, 3,200 hours. If I go pull up my Epic Games, you'll, there's another thousand on uh, Epic Games. So that's, yeah. So for anyone, if you want me to pull up my Steam, I can pull up my, or my Epic. So I might as well just do that because I know I'm going to get someone to say, oh, you said you had 4,200 hours, but you don't. <laughs> uh, here we go. I'll show you. No, I have to sign in. What is this? Give me a second. Let me sign in. Email address. Wait. Is this my thing? Enter your date of birth? Are you kidding me? Yeah. 
10. Okay, whatever. I won't sign in then. I do need to sign in sometime though because the PTS is going to be coming out. All right, so here is what I would do. Oh man, gosh, there's so many bundles here. Um, see all. What I what I would essentially do, man, is I would buy. I would buy the base game. That's what I'm saying is I wouldn't buy many. What's up, Golden? Welcome in. I wouldn't buy many DLC trucks. I think if you're, yeah, I would. I would wait. I would probably just grab the base game for twenty nine ninety nine. Um, play it if you enjoy it. Um, and you basically finish the base game and you enjoy it, then I think you should just go. Um, year one buy the year one pass or buy like the season two or the season one pass. That's kind of like my, my opinion. Yeah. It's kind of my opinion, but yeah. I, I don't know. I just think, uh, too many DLCs to start with is, You bought the season three anniversary edition over sale Xmas. You happily and I'd happily buy it at full price. Nice. Okay, let's go long logs. I'm changing up this paint job. I still like that blue though, but I do like green. Actually, I want the blue. Let's go back. Keeping it. Here goes a 14 grand that I'll never get back. I need, you know what? Hold on. I need to sign into my, I need to sign into my Epic. Why, why would I have to re-sign into my Epic though? That's just kind of weird. No, not sign up. I don't want to sign up. Google. Uh, okay. There we go. Five. Okay, there's. Not now. Okay, so there's 970 hours, and then here's 38 hours on PTS. So there's the 4,000, the 42, almost 4,250 actually. So cool. I'm just glad my my Epic Games is still there. <laughs> that could have been bad. Whoa. Chat is missing? What? Really? Wait, why is chat missing? Oh. It's because when I when I change from display. Yeah, when I change from display to live screen, chat goes off. Appreciate that heads up. What's up, Jelly Beans? Welcome in. Don't scare me like that. All right, so now for this watchtower, just one set of long logs, and that's 
This is going to be much easier, I think. You pull the trigger in expeditions. I do enjoy scouting and exploring, so I figure I'd get into it. Only major thing I've noticed PS4 is with textures on some trees. A lot of rocks crap out. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That trailer does need grippy ties. All the trailers need to be able to grip the road for sure. Season three anniversary edition has the most heaviest discount, $30 more. It seems like the best choice. Yeah, slapper. So it seems like the best choice, but to be quite honest, man, in season three, in the year three pass, you're just getting a lot of overpowered trucks that you're going to just come by there. They are great maps, but you're going to get a lot of really overpowered trucks in the game. And I, I think it's going to ruin the natural progression of the game to be quite honest. But hey, it, it, I mean, it's your it's your experience. But uh, I've talked to a developer that's that's on the team of Saber or the Saber developer that's on the SnowRunner team. And he said that that's actually like, he agrees with that that sentiment actually, is that DLC trucks and new vehicles that are implemented in the game have kind of like ruined the, pro the natural progression that of the game. But honestly, man, like, but yeah, I mean, if you ever need help, man, my channel, my channel is filled with how to navigate through mud and stuff like that because the beginning beginning of the game is going to be really hard and I, I really believe that uh i have a lot of really good tips that are going to allow it so that you can just kind of move through the game at a good pace and not struggle as bad as you you would struggle i guess so because i've been there I've heard a lot of people complaining about PS4, honestly. Okay, so... Oh, nice. Long logs are up here. It's good. So then we'll just go over here and grab these long logs. This camp. I'll go grab some fuel from him. And then we'll bounce down, over, and up. Unless you play out of order, it hasn't been an issue. Yeah, PS4 is probably on the edge, yeah. I must admit, when I started, I drove along the middle of the dirt. Tra the mud tracks. Bad idea. Honestly, you can still do that. You can still do that. It's just... Uh, It just, um, yeah, it's, it's all about having weight on wheels, man. Weight on wheels and all wheel drive diff lock or mostly, I would probably say mostly the, the X factors diff lock with, with weight. It just changes the game. It, it's, it's kind of crazy. CLT long logs NC nice. But yeah, Slapper, if you honestly, man, like go check out the YouTube channel. There's a lot of informational videos on how to traverse mud, information on tires, trucks, all that stuff. And then also, if you want to see any type of gameplay in action, um, yeah, you can always come by the stream. I can answer questions for you. Um, I can show you how to, um, how to navigate through mud, stuff like that. Because it can be kind of tricky.
Wait, what tracks? You mean like railroad tracks or like the like the actual tracks of like other trucks? Oh, normal dirt tracks and roads most of the time make sense. Oh yeah, I agree. Yeah, one off, like one tire off the track. Yeah, wayfinding is 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 awesome, honestly. Seriously tempered submitted add-ons. I still find myself preferring the rest of the fleet. Rule one: Don't drive on roads. So I, honestly, man, I think the 605R actually has a lot of add-ons for a heavy truck. To be quite fair, I think it, I think it's probably at the extent of what a heavy truck of its caliber should have in terms of add-ons. And here's the reason why, Golden, is because. And you kind of you kind of like pinpointed it here. And my point is it has enough add-ons to be very versatile and do other things other than just hauling special mission trailers. Okay. But it doesn't have enough add-ons to totally negate using different classes of trucks, right? Like the off-road class or the heavy duty class, which in my opinion, they should be the the drones, like the the worker bees of your fleet. But nowadays we have, you know, super heavy trucks that have every single add-on in the game. And they just totally power crept every single class in the game. Ah, uh, should I actually? No, I'm going to steal gas from the, the burlap. No, I'll go get gas. I'll just go get gas. It's a pity Focus decided to go with Expeditions instead of evolving SR. Um, well... Expeditions is the same engine. It's literally the same same engine, but yeah, I kind of I don't know. It's it's kind of like a spin-off, I guess, Netics. If you want to test your tires early game, just leave the garage and drive as fast as you can into the mud across the street. That's a good way. Yeah, exactly. So if it had a bed, a crane, like every other super truck that, that has came out in DLCs and or standalone DLCs and the year three past DLCs like Kenworth, like Mastodon. Um, what, what else? Uh, Femme. Like those those trucks essentially are just uh, they've power crept the other classes. So you see more people just saying, okay, well, I'm just going to use the Femme or I'm just going to use the Mastodon because, well, it's a massive vehicle. I can press the trigger and I don't have to worry about anything else, right? So to be honest, I would actually strip every heavy class truck aside from a few of the small crane add-on actually and a couple other add-ons. I think if it was my call and then I think, yeah, you by that then you just basically bring back the other classes but that's just my opinion i'm very polarized about this topic <laughs> and a lot of people definitely disagree but that's okay it's all right it's totally okay to disagree yeah I'm, i don't think i like the fem either it's it's strong, don't get me wrong, it's a super strong truck, but it's just not my cup of tea. It's an asset flip with a new UI. I feel more justified on that than if we have a desert map in year four. Honestly, we could have a desert map in year four. 
But then again, I think if they make a desert map in year four, on SnowRunner, then people will justify just playing SnowRunner over buying the new game that has, yeah, a desert map. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know the. I don't know what what goes on behind the scenes with uh, what they should do or their marketing teams, I guess. Once you get the 605 Arts, a game changer, and it hasn't been as much as I anticipated. Well, what trucks do you have right now? That's that's the thing. <clears throat> what trucks do you have right now, other than the 605R? The last balance heavy truck was a bore. I mean, real heavy truck. Yeah, I think that that's like actually a good point. I mean, the 5600 TS, the Azov 73210, and then there's a bunch of... There's some Western Stars actually um yeah some of those should be moved classes for sure i think there should be a lot of trucks moved away to be honest i think the heavy class trucks are just bloated they're just i feel like they're just willy willy nilly throwing trucks into the uh the heavy class just to do it desert with snow like uh prescott arizona or like Prescott gets snow. I used to get snow when I lived in Prescott, right? P5, P, P512, yeah, probably could be a, uh, a heavy duty truck, I think. The Western Stars, the smaller Western Stars, could probably be heavy duty trucks too. You basically have everything up to a more. I've been playing in order. I don't own any of the standalone DLC trucks like the Mastodon. Yeah, I think the 605R is fine in its, in its configuration. I think that is the max. I think that is the extent. So when when the 605R came out, in my review, I even mentioned, I was like, I was absolutely, like, I was kind of taken back that it had so many add-ons, okay? Because at that point, like, we never really seen many heavy trucks of that caliber with that many add-ons, right? Yes, Mastodon with low saddle and crane is just overpowered. It's completely overpowered. You'd like to see Michigan, Alaska, Tamiya reversed seasons with new missions? That could, oh, that'd be kind of cool. Oh. Well, here's the thing, Golden. Uh, I think the 605R, if you watch my FEM review, so if you go actually pull up my FEM review and watch the six, watch that uh, that review, I do some comparisons based upon the FEM with the 605R, okay? Because the FEM currently has the, the highest the highest torque engine in the game, okay? And when FEM first came out on PTS, everyone was literally saying, oh, it's the king, it's the king of SnowRunner. And I think I had a little bit other thoughts on it. I do think it's amazingly strong, but there's a couple examples in there that for the for the Zix 605R only having 260, well, that's actually a really a high torque value to be honest, because it used to be the king of torque, or it used to have the highest torque engine that was shared with like nine or ten other trucks, right? But now, you know, 286,000 torque on the Fem, you would think it would just crush the 605R, and that really hasn't been the case. So for the for the 605R to do some things that the Fem's doing. Like pulling wise, it's it's kind of it's kind of incredible. Like pulling eight slots of cargo up up a test slope in high gear and not breaking a sweat when the fem actually fails in some places, and then in other other tire options it actually gets up, like with low and diff lock and stuff like that. So yeah, I don't know. It 
still pulls the damage engine too? Yeah, it does. And the Fem's engine is very is very weak. Damage wise, it doesn't take much damage to uh, to strip it of its power. What is the Azov Atom? The Azov Atom is essentially going to be somewhere. <clears throat> it's probably going to be like a just another Azov truck, eight by eight. Probably a tons of versatility. Let me turn off this uh, this yeah, turn off this heater. Um, tons of versatility. It's probably going to have like. A decent engine in it, I guess. So probably like five three one nine six four one three one ish, but they're putting it in the heavy class, which I don't think it should be a heavy class truck unless it's super massive. But yeah. What's the legit use for it? Honestly, it's just a contingency. I think it's more or less like a contingency, like a support vehicle, trailer hauler, um, a ferry vehicle, which is like ferry you across super conditions. Um, stuff like that. I used it to haul a ton of, a ton of uh, metal, what's it called? metal beams, I guess, pulling other vehicles behind it, like in tow and, and more. It's so, yeah, no, not metal rolls, metal beams. Yeah. <clears throat> so it, it's just a very strong truck. Pretty much. Yeah. And it's, and it's amazingly stable too. It, it's just, it's really, I can't, I don't know if I can say this as I said it in my, in my tier list video, it's, uh, in my opinion, it's just a truck that I can trust to just throw at the game, if that makes sense. I feel like absolutely comfortable, comfortable just throwing throwing the zix at something and saying, "Okay, just go do it," with like minimal effort, I guess. This is going to be a lot different of a pull because this is uh, kind of crazy right now. Weird. I need to get over farther, actually. Okay, now. Now I winch two and then cut my wheel. Let's fall back a second. Fall back a second. Now we winch two. Let's go. Give me up over this. Yes. Yes. No. No. This is ridiculous. Now this tree. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. We're not dumping any logs, my man. We're fine.
You've been using the boar for seismic? Nice. Azov 7 is your favorite truck, to be fair. Favorite truck by far. Yeah, it's pretty strong. What truck do I like to use for seismic? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. Sweet. I want to look around for a second here. Let's look around. See our work. New objective, lost car. All right, cool. That's pretty much all of that. Lots of stuff. Oh my goodness, lots of stuff. Lots and lots of stuff. Okay. Okay. I know I need to scout with this, this trailer over this way. And I think a little bit down here as well. So I think I'm going to do that. Basically like push over this way, grab this, grab this, and then maybe push down. I think that's the move pretty much. Give me traction. Nice. Guess I'll just get a rare vehicle, go here, I guess, and then I'll pop this again, maybe. <clears throat> I guess that's the only thing to do. Lots and lots of scouting. I just want it out of these pits. I don't like these. The folded up log carrier, that is, uh, that's pretty legit. That'd be kind of cool to have, actually. Never played it, but I would like to have it from from what I've seen. Another scout. Good old Neo Falcon.
popping radar. New objective. <clears throat> oh, that's right, the wooden bridge. Guess we'll go. The pr here's another. Here's another kind of like meaning meaningless task, actually. So, uh, like, you fix this bridge and you hardly use it ever. Yeah, you know I mean, and just like you kind of hardly use it. I, I just, I'm. I actually want to go back and look at my my playthrough and see how many times I've crossed that bridge. <clears throat> use it on the contest oh there is a contest there so once so use it one time essentially actually you know what maybe I remember having the p12 up in here for some reason there might be actually another mission that goes up here but anyways yeah I just feel as though a lot of tasks should be, how do I say this? But then again, I feel like the game is going in a different direction with like mission set. No. Activate while we're up here. Area has been scanned. Cool. Now we just advance south. Back this way. <clears throat> I think I could probably go this way and get to the tower, I believe know that this way is like slushy. I think so. I think the back route's slushy if I don't if I remember correctly. There is a mission I need to get back there, so I think I'm gonna go that way. But one second, y'all.
Okay. Let's just go. Let's see here. Switch this back. All right, onward. Actually, let me see something. Do I, I probably need, I'm gonna pop this. And you know what? Go this way. I'm gonna pop this trailer right here, actually. You know you aren't, you aren't paying attention when you almost flip a 745C? Yep. It all happens to us all, I'll tell you that much. Whoa, you know what? Refuel. All right, there we go. Yep, happens to us all. That's the thing with Snowrunner, man. It can law. It's like it, it'll it'll law you into like a sense of how do I say this? Relaxation. Is that the correct term for it? Like a relaxation? And then all of a sudden something happens and you're not paying attention and then boom, it's like, it, it goes from complete relaxation mode to frustration mode. Within a couple seconds. It's like SnowRunner is chill until SnowRunner is not chill. Probably could have just used the high-range gearbox and just smashed high-range right here. So, like, this stuff right here is cool. I like... Look, rocks on the path. Like, this stuff, like, jars you off balance in certain ways. If you're hauling things up here, right, it makes... It makes things a little bit different. This is, like, this is things I think they should add to the game instead of just making, uh... That rock texture looks really weird. Or at surface or whatever. The game hated you the other night. Tip the six six one two H and the Kenny and the Tatrin. <laughs> wow. That's a rough night. That's a rough. That's a rough night. Let's do this. Let's pop this real quick. What? Wait, did it? No, it didn't plume. That's the way it goes sometimes, man. That is the way it goes. Should have turned off my engine. What am I doing? Wasting gas here. Wasting gas. You love owning one of those here in Europe? Yeah, I'd, I'd love to own one of these here in uh, <laughs> in the United States. It's probably pretty sweet. Thing is all beat up. Okay. All right, Eastern Landfall. Let's go grab this. And then let's uh, get up there to that tower. And that'll be the final tower, essentially. Yo, what's up, Enox? Welcome in. Oh, you're playing. Oh, you're delivering cargo. Is it the deliver ten pieces of cargo with the P12? Is that the achievement? Yeah, 
I know that one. What's up, Astro? Welcome in. Yep, I know that mission. Wait, isn't there another one with like the Zix 5368, I believe? Man, it's been a while. I did all those a long time ago. I think it was like 2021 when I did those, all those uh, achievements. Ten pieces of Michigan? Okay. Yo, Sammy Pig, thank you for that follow. Okay, we'll grab this, and I'm gonna try to head up there somehow. This is not a very good roadblock, or... Just kind of like go around it. All right, let's find the road to this. It's down here and over. <clears throat> oh, nice. You've been watching me on YouTube for ages. Nice, man. Awesome. Glad you could stop in. Another car you'd love to have is the 78 Bronco. Is that like the old Bronco like that was made famous with like uh, OJ Simpson? His white Bronco move where he was like chasing, getting chased by the cops and after he supposedly murdered his wife. Actually, I don't even know. Did uh, I don't think he was even I don't think they found him guilty, to be honest. Wow, this stuff is thick. I'll probably sneak right up through there. Yeah, I see an opening. I probably should just do it. But it's fine. I'm already right here. It is this. I don't allow uh, links. Sorry. But I think I know what you're talking about, though. The gloves fit. The gloves don't fit. You just quit. Yeah. That's what it was, right? The glove didn't fit him or whatever. I think he just got into another another criminal case recently. I forget why or what for. I skirt around this without Incident or slowing down. Yeah, sorry about that. I don't allow. I don't generally allow any links in the chat just because. Yeah, I wouldn't want. And it's not that I. I think anybody's gonna post anything crazy. It's just for security reasons. Just in case someone wanted to post something wild and crazy. Wasn't he stealing his own memorabilia to pay off debts? S what do you mean? How, how do he steal his own memorabilia? Wait, are you talking? Is wait, are you talking about like Adrian Peterson? Because that I know Adrian Peterson is. Uh, I guess like they're saying that he sold off all of his like his accolades and stuff like that to make money, but he came out publicly and said that. He didn't authorize anybody to sell it. But then OJ Simpson, I don't know if OJ Simpson did that. Do I whitelist any sites? No, I just don't have links in general. 
Yeah, I don't allow links. From the Hall of Fame place, OJ Simpson? Oh, really? So OJ was driving in the 93 Bronco, okay. The 93? Who is Adrian Peterson? He's a football player. Famous football player. Oh, so he stole from the Hall of Fame place and sold it? That's so... <laughs> That's crazy, dude. <laughs> this is crazy. Crazy. You don't watch much, much sports? Sorry. I keep up with a little bit of football, but... It's, it's kind of hard to keep up with sports lately. Yes, the tower, the views. Love it. That's the lake. <laughs> there is the lake. By the lake is here. Yes. Or you could say it's here. Or you could say it's here. Or you could say it's... <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> When you're European and listen to NA lore. Yeah, that's the sad thing about I guess that's that's probably the the sad oh, that's kinda cool. There's a scout fuel carrier there, okay. We'll make use of that. It's probably the sad thing about uh people from uh from Europe watching my streams. They're probably like, this dude talks about some weird stuff. Alright, so we are going to I'm gonna head down this mountain here. Grab the southern bridge. I don't think I can cross this, but I can go through here. Pretty sure so. Straight ahead, down. Okay. Well, this is a good shortcut. This, I know that this fuel trailer is just like hating his life right now. <laughs> Scout testing durability is designed, yeah. Okay, that's that. Most used trailer in the game? Absolutely. Pretty much. I hate that I have to use this uh, prototype thing. I hate it. I probably don't have to use it, but yeah. Let's just pop it while we're here, right? It's probably the next map after you finish Wisconsin. How does it compare in difficulty? It's it's much easier. Much easier than Wisconsin. I do think it has its difficult moments, but um I think it, it's all based upon your, your truck usage. Yeah, I think it's all based upon your trucker usage. Okay, so I'm gonna cross here and then push over. Yeah. Probably, yeah. You gave up on Yukon, really?
You gave up on it at 60%. You're so close. You're so close. So close. More of a rage quit? Tip some long logs. You had a tantrum. Ooh, that's uh, that's rough. Oh, dude, this is gonna stink. Especially with the current. Probably should just go with the flow, to be honest. Even though it's probably gonna dip me down, I'm gonna break my engine here and watch this. Am I? Go. Ha. Mining conveyor belt mission to the last closes off the shortcut. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> A Yukon could be interesting, man. I guess is, is the word. I don't know if interesting is the correct word, but... I'm gonna tackle the rest of Yukon, then a more. You would have been like nope and bailed. <laughs> but here's the thing, man. If for those who played Yukon in 2021, compared to now, Yukon now, Yukon Yukon definitely is much less. Uh, much less work than it was back in back then. The cabins, the cabin amounts back then were just insane. They reduced them to like two. You can reuse them and then two again. And then the last one is three. Yeah, they were like 15 or 20 back then. So. I actually, I, I remember finishing Yukon on stream, actually. I finished on stream, and then a few days later, I lost my save file. <laughs> Sadly enough. I inspired you to play some of these sketchy lines <laughs> with equipment and sketchy loads. Honestly, man, I don't know. Am, do I play? Do I play that sketchy? I think a lot of folks just. I don't know. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Um, I guess I'm going to go to the road. I guess I just go to the road. 
Go to the road. Get the traffic accidents. I probably need to go down here and grab all this stuff to... I mean, like, folks like District, they, they play pretty risky. I would say... How do I say this? I don't know. Maybe I'm, like, more balanced. Like, I play risky, but then also I'll play... somewhat safe. I don't know. I think I, uh... I think I trust myself a little bit more. Or I, I trust in... There's the airplane. I guess I trust in, like, I don't know, what I know I can get away with in a truck. I guess? I don't know. This is gonna be a slog. I probably should've went up top. Maybe not. Playing sketchy nowadays is standard. <laughs> Using the Mastodon for everything, <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. Okay, let's go get this uh, the scout here. Let's go unlock this little task here. Scout flatbed. Um, I'm trying to think here. What do I do with this fuel carrier trailer? And you probably need to relocate that somewhere, which I, I definitely will do. I need to get both of these. This upgrade as well, which I think is for like the Neo Falcon or I don't know, probably the Burlack or the Neo Falcon, one of the two. So I'm actually going to go here and pop my trailer first. And then I'll go down here. Grab this. This. If I didn't have to carry this this stupid trailer around, which I need it, I, I still need it for this part right here. Because my ADHD or my ADD or whatever you want to call it, just being anal about things. If I didn't need it, I would just delete it now and just, I know I could probably I think this needs delivered out of here, so I probably would start doing things of that sort. But actually, you know what I need to do first? I should go down here and touch this. Touch this first. Yeah. Or. Let's do this. Ah, uh, wait. Go here. I'll come back to here, dip down, grab this, continue, grab this, over through here, there we go. You almost never stack cargo either. Last night I made the exception in the Rift, five slot, needed six, nice man, you pinned it down. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thoughts on Mastodon would would be better if all if all the engines weren't available until found with other trucks needing the upgrades. Well, that's the thing is they can't make a DLC that you pay for have found upgrades, I guess. I think they actually have though. Because here's the thing, people would complain. Here's the here's the thing about that is, is people would complain. Ah, oh, you, 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 you. People would complain that hey, I I paid for such and such vehicle and I have to go find upgrades for it. So why am I paying for something that's not upgraded? You know what I'm saying? Let's 
But that's the thing. But that's the thing, man. It's it's because it's a paid DLC. So. But I mean, like, I'm in agreement. To be honest, I don't think, I don't like paid DLCs. I'm not a fan of them. But literally, you just you're telling the developer, here, take my money, give me the best, and then I'll just go do what I want. Yeah, it's, it's how they generate revenue. And it's honestly, it's I think if someone bought something that was incomplete, which requires them to do any more work, <laughs> people are just going to lose their minds. Bad reviews, and then there you go. Bad reviews equal people not buying things in the future. So the developer wants to, they'll try to basically just give give people what they want like Mastodon is completely upgraded from from level 2 what's up marine thank you for that raid appreciate it man welcome in welcome in raiders oh yeah, let's not do this. I already see the. I already see the. Uh, there's the ice Doritos. There's the broken ice. It's going good, man. Just uh, making our way through. Making our way through uh, Scandinavia right now on the second map. How was your stream? go touch that I might just go over here drop this trailer and just go touch it this is this poor scout trailer man oh, let's see Is this like one of the upgrades that they're trying to say like, hey, use the burlap to get to this. It can go through breakable ice. High range, the burlap. Yikes. All right, I need to turn around. But yeah, the Mastodon is, is super overpowered. <clears throat> the high range burlap, yeah. High range is a waste of time. It's funny. Ah, I need gas. No.
Did I go the wrong way? I think I did. It's okay though. I can make this right turn. All good. Is the last map? I think the last map is actually Ovirio Hills, actually. But I think you need to unlock a bunch of things to get to Flatland. You have to unlock, I think, the bridge to Pine Line, or the bridge from Pine Line over there. And then you can basically just go through the gateway. Okay, I need to disconnect that because it was already about to just flip out. Ooh, look. A cave. Yes, sir. You are welcome. But yeah, I think, yeah, I definitely think Ovirio is, is considered the last map. Well, I guess, I don't know, it, it all depends. Yikes, man. This is, uh... That's not fun. Really? <laughs> is there a way around this junk? Do I really have to go all the way back and round? I'll do it. I'll do it to not go through here. Yeah, I'll do it. <clears throat> I'm okay with, with going around. Ah, oh, come on. Can I make it? Oh my goodness, yes. Nice. You, you reinstalled SnowRunner and you playing it? Nice. Welcome in Dunlap. Welcome in. No. Leave me alone. It's a nice little, uh, nice little town here. Okay. Now we roll back to here, here, through here. There's something over here maybe, but I'm not sure. Maybe not. I don't think there is. 
scout trailer, scout fuel carrier. Go to the Wasteland movie set. I think I need to go to this Western Landfall. I didn't I didn't go here. I didn't go here either. Yikes, dude. I got a lot of stuff I gotta do. Oh, crossing this is not gonna be fun. Even actually, even though I can just do this. I could turn around and come back, go up here, and then just extend all the way up. This is actually kind of a pretty crazy spot. Okay, whatever. Let's go. It looks pretty cool here at night. I don't know how people get around without roads here, but... Alright. use the burlack pretty much <laughs> probably the burlack is like the bus it's like the the transport everyone uses like there's like a burlack fee at the bus stop or something <laughs> That scout trailer, uh, it's like right. It's here. It's around here. I thought. Oh no! It's at the next. Oh, it's over here. Shoot. I was gonna go around. Didn't make up my mind. in this thing. Let's see something. No, I don't want to mess around with this. But I kind of want to do this, though. I kind of want to repair myself real quick. $250? i will take it. You bought some edition with the base game and your passes and it has so much content I could play it for months, even years probably. I can't believe how much content this game has. Yeah, it has a ton. I think uh, right now, if you were to place the base game season one through 12, I'm pretty sure you're going to take a thousand hours to play those. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's going to take you a thousand hours. If you're playing vanilla, like with vanilla trucks, it, I'm, I'm almost guaranteeing it's gonna take take that long. Okay, nice. Here's a scout trailer. We'll put this to use as well. Nice. Let's go get this landfall. It's 
pretty exciting though, right? No, 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 no. Stay out of the, stay out of the snow. I know this is the thick stuff too. Okay, whatever. I got the base game in seasons one through four. I'm still doing stuff in Michigan. I've played maybe four hours. That sounds about right. What is going on? Okay, oh, I'm stuck on something. Let's see that. What percentage are you done with Michigan? Please don't get caught up. Nice. It is great. It's great for learning. Yeah, absolutely agree. Honestly, I think Michigan's still one of my favorite maps of all time. It, it still is, I mean, it's crazy. I don't know if it's like a nostalgia thing. It probably probably is a lot of like just nostalgia, but I genuinely really like Michigan. Okay, so what do I do here? Do I just go up? Do I jump up here and go straight up? Or do I brave this path here? This is actually not too bad, but this this area crossing sucks. Ah, uh, lost car, tourist village parking lot. <laughs> I gotta get both of these. Oh, that stinks! And then I need to get the train station. And then I have to go up here and grab this stuff. You want to go to a new map? I figured I'd see you're earning XP, etc. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I mean, the way I am, I, I always want to just complete and then move on in entirety. But I mean, everyone's different. I think for me, I just don't want to come back and be like, what was I doing again? You know what I mean? Okay, that is not even a task. That is like a drop-off area, I think. Let's take a look at it real quick. It's a drop-off area. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's the good thing about normal mode is you can kind of like learn the game. Learn the game, gain money from selling trailers. You can just recover to save time, recover if you mess up. Yeah, to be honest, man, I actually, I do really like normal mode better. <laughs> I don't think, to be honest, I, I don't think I really even like hard mode that much. 
Like it's it's really the nothing that really changes other than like just you're spending money on everything essentially. I just like the ability to kind of quick travel back, aka recover. Yeah, I would wait. I would say if you complete uh, Michigan, Alaska, Tamir on normal mode, and then you complete, I guess, like Kola Peninsula. After you complete Kola Peninsula, I think, season one on normal mode, I would probably go start hard mode, Michigan, play Michigan, jump back into your normal mode, go to season two which is Yukon, play Yukon on normal mode, jump back to hard mode, play Alaska. Just so you're kind of like mixing it up. And you kind of get a like a just of what you got to do instead of going into it blind, I guess. But I know people who just straight up play hard mode blind and they do well. So it is, it's, uh, it's possible. All right. Um, I guess we go down this way. I find the lost car in this as well. Close one, welcome in. Thank you for that follow. I'm gonna go back up here to the station. And then over here for these last couple. Um. I wouldn't say like, I would say do it again on hard mode. Well, that's essentially what I did. Okay. So I started hard mode, I think, oh man, what, I, I forget when it was. It might've been after a more, maybe. So that was like after four seasons. So I would still progress my, my normal mode. I would keep up with my normal mode basically with, with where the current game is, is at right now with dropping content. And then I always come back to hard mode. So right now I'm almost caught up to my main game. Um, my main normal game. But like you got to understand, I'm, I'm kind of pushing hours into this like crazy. So it's different. But honestly, I think just play the game in normal. And then whenever you feel you want a more of a challenge, then just switch to hard. Hard mode is going to be... Yeah, it's just... It starts out really hard, but then... I don't think money doesn't become an issue later on in hard mode as much as people think. It's a bit cheesy, so if, if you find that cheesy, then maybe hard mode is for you. I don't know. But however, I mean, like normal mode, you can get everything. Do you know what I'm saying? You can buy all the trucks. And yeah, on hard mode, you're not going to be able to purchase every single truck in the game. I mean, you might be able to. But I don't know. Okay, trip across the water. That's good. Whatever. Got it. Yeah, I'll just uh, I'll just play it and see how you feel. I guess like my question to you is like if you wanted to play hard mode for it not being cheesy which I do understand that um, do you really want to play Michigan all over again do you know, you know what I mean like after you just played it Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a time sink, yeah. It's like a time sink, yes. Hard mode is like straight up, it's it's, it's essentially logistics mode. I mean, that's that's essentially what I, what I think it, it is. Oh, nice. So we'll do this then. 
Oh wait, where's the repair zone? I thought I'm there. I'm not. I guess I am. That is the repair zone. Okay. Oh, I think it opens the repair zone. Wait. It does. We're fine now. Yeah, I would just wait then. Yeah, basically like inconvenient mode, yeah. Kind of. But I think I have more fun playing normal mode. On stream, normal mode is great because like at the end of everything, like I just recover my vehicles for free. I'm done with the map. Boom, we're, we're good to go. We can just leave. I have enough money where I don't need to go sell trailers. Um, to get more money, there's no reason There's no reason for me to do that, I guess. Uh, so yeah. On hard mode, like when you finish a map, I have to legitimately go get all my trucks, bring them back, try to plan my fueling to take fuel from that region to another region, um, repair trucks, uh, or I can just recover them if I wanted to just pay money for it. But that's the thing. If you pay money for it every time, you'll run yourself out of money and then you basically you're soft locked or hard locked, I guess. No. So you'd have to start a fresh game, yeah. So another reason I suggest always doing the base games first, like for anyone, is because here's a here's a good a good example for you. If you look, like everyone's like, oh man, I just want to play like the new stuff, the new stuff, the new stuff, but it's like you're not missing out much, to be quite honest, because if you look at like Michigan, you have so like upgrades are huge in this game, right? Upgrades are just they're massive. Michigan, Alaska has 23, Michigan has 21, and this has 24. You almost have you're almost sitting around like 75 upgrades total. So like the bulk of the upgrades in the game still to this day are more front heavy so like trucks that are even coming out later down the line they're still using a lot of these upgrades from these said maps and that's why i always suggest doing these maps first but i don't know if there's a way to change that where you can kind of like push them and, and evenly distribute them it's a different story but yeah You play on normal, but no recovery suits you. Yeah, I think with the recovering, I don't know. That's true, they didn't know that. They didn't know if they were gonna have... Honestly, I don't think they, they thought SnowRunner was gonna be as long as it is. Mm, Thor's Thunder, I guess. I'm going up here, I guess. Do I wanna go up there though? Oh, I don't know if I wanna actually like traverse this. Yo, what's up, Albert? Thank you for that, uh... Thank you for the raid, man. Welcome in. Oh, gas, that's right. One more tank left. Welcome in, man. How was your stream? Raiders, welcome in.
Yo, Dunlop, thank you for that prime sub. Appreciate that, man. Okay, I'm gonna pop this trailer. Uh, probably somewhere up there. Yeah, I'll get farther up and then we'll pop it. There's a, I think there's a contest up here. That's another thing, man, in hard mode. You have to do these contests, right? And you can, you can do them up to five times. And the money that you get from them is uh, super beneficial, but I'm just not a person who likes spamming contests. But another thing is, because they're based upon your speed, you just damage your trucks like crazy. So then you're spending, you know, cash repairing your trucks and stuff like that. So there's a lot, but there's a lot to it. Oh man, the snow. The snow depth here. Oh, come on. I'll just reach back and winch him too, I guess. After I get forward, there we go. Did you just jump off the side here? That is a good, that is a good option. I think I'm okay with just, on hard mode, I'm okay with just finishing. What's up, Albert? Welcome in, man. How was your stream? Thank you for that raid, by the way. Oh, dude, this. Just gotta get out of this, uh, whatever this stuff is. Good, you had a blast? Nice, man. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Here we go. Hmm. I'll wait till I get to like here for this trailer. Yeah, we'll wait. Oh no, not more. Not more. Not more snow. Not more of it. Please. This is just... This is terrible. <laughs> Should have just went off to the side. I saw the opening to go off to the side there. And I should have just took it. Like, let me... I mean, like in, in real, in, like in reality, like is this, is this a good simulation of what difficulty is? without bumping him around there. Okay, so we made it around. Are. 
Boom. New objective discovered. Thor's. Okay, that's that. Let's go down here and grab Thor's. I need to go to the missing movie props. Pop the trailer, and that is effectively it for scouting this region. After that, it's uh, it start pushing out missions. Probably gonna move to unlock some warehouses first, actually. So then all these other missions just become quicker. What are those two trailers I'm dragging? One is called the Prototype Exploration Unit. <clears throat> this is why I think playing chronologically is a good idea. It's because the, the game will introduce new mechanics, like new different features um, to the game. One, in season one, it's called the Prototype Exploration Unit. Okay, so it's this truck here. This acts as like a, a watchtower. So up here, like it basically opened up this this area as, as it's like I scouted it out instead of using a watchtower because after after like the base game what you'll start to notice is towers won't open up the whole map you can see like the tower I got down here it only opened up like this much so that's what they've been kind of doing so what I do is because this truck is pretty pretty thirsty um, but it hauls amazing for scout vehicle. For scout vehicle, it, it basically acts as almost as if nothing's behind it. So basically, I'm, I'm using this to refuel this trailer and my vehicle as I'm scouting. So I just kind of like winch it behind me. So that's kind of like what I do. So yeah, it's uh, kind of an effective way to use prototype unit if you want but it'll, it's basically only a, uh, a scout trailer as well so no I'm not I'm using the UODs I don't think you should use the jets on this it's already the only only way I would use the jets is if I felt that it was unstable and this truck is like extremely stable in my opinion <clears throat> yeah basically that's the name of the game is like I want I, my my mission is to be able to scout everything on the map in in like one push like I don't want to like I just want to do this one time and then that's it so right now yeah I'm gonna go get this movie prop and basically after that I'm done scouting like I mean I've used up all my fuel from that trailer from that but yeah we're basically done but if if there were let's say this okay so I'll kind of explain this to you this is actually a good a good teaching point or just a good learning learning point so let's go to display <clears throat> okay so like here's map runner okay this is this is the map by the lake the same map I'm on right you can see the towers the coverage so if you don't have this trailer and you don't use it you see all these areas that are un undiscovered these tasks and stuff like that so there's a, there's a lot of maps that are like this the only honestly the there's a there's a very few maps that you don't need this this trailer after season one the only map i feel like covers everything here's here's british columbia on duncan bay i love this map the only area that really wasn't covered was down here second map of it so like on this map I wouldn't even bring the exploration trailer. I would legitimately just grab the fuel trailer and just bring it through. But you can see on like the base maps, even them, they don't have everything unlocked. Like up here, you can miss this, uh, these upgrades just by not having this area scouted. But the thing is, this is prior to season one, right? But most of these maps, if you go to like the flooded, not the flooded foothills, but like Black River, most of these, they cover pretty much everything, right? Only a few things are not within the plume of this. I believe this suspension is not within the plume either, it, even though they might have changed that though. 
but yeah, that's why that's basically why I use it. Even though I don't like using it because I'd rather just have, I'd probably make better progress with just a uh, one trailer behind me instead of two. But this is one of the only scout vehicles that can that can really do this effectively. Oh, look at this guy. Okay, movie props is done. Yo, and and con, thank you for that follow. Uh, yeah, that's the Voron AE. Yep. You think the truck there is out of fuel? Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's a free. That's a free Voron, isn't it? I think you're right, Jelly. It's a good thing I didn't buy a Voron AE then, right? Yeah, Map Runner is uh, pretty pretty incredible. Okay, this is the last pop, and this will just basically discover the rest of the map, and then I'll get back to the road here. Yeah, I'm glad, very glad I didn't sell, or I didn't buy the, the Voron AE. Actually, wait, did I? Did I buy it? I don't know if I did. I don't think I did. I think I've been debating buying it, but I don't think I bought it. Oh, please get through this without incident. Yeah, it does have a sm pretty small fuel tank. star is just incredible <laughs> I gotta say to, to kind of like take a knock at myself here I have been using the load star a lot <laughs> but I think for good reason <laughs> uh, let's go I don't see a way over there I do actually Sweet. What are we at now? Let's see. 60%. Okay. That is essentially... We got a ton done today, guys. That was almost five hours. Um, That's going to be the end of the stream today. We literally got done the rest of the contracts Um, in Mountain Ridge. We got everything scouted here and two contracts done that were towered contracts. So everything is legitimately ready to go. I just have to start cracking away at getting, uh, yeah, some of these warehouses opened up so we can just pull some cargo and then just start chopping away at this place. So we might finish it up this week. I don't know. It, it kind of depends on how quick I can get it done, but hopefully we can, we might, it's only Tuesday, right? So anyways, y'all, I'm going to head out. Thank you guys for those raids, Albert, and also Marine, appreciate it guys. Raiders, thank you guys for stopping in and watching. I know it was short since you got here, but yeah, we, uh, we've been cracking away for over, you know, four hours and 30 minutes here. So 
Anyways, y'all, I'll be back tomorrow. Same time, same place, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget to stop in, hit the follow button, and also um, make sure you have your notifications on for when I go live. So until then, guys, God bless and stay upright. We'll see you guys later.